You're not like in the middle of the woods in a cabin or nothing? No, no, I'm in like the big city, man. Oh, that sucks. I, I, I pictured I pictured you like on a mountain. <laughs> Me too. With a big with a big scruffy beard. Yeah, right. With a big scruffy beard, and you're at the dog, and you're sitting out in a rocking chair with your gun. Damn it! Maybe, now it's all maybe ruined. Some uh, no, no, no. As soon as as soon as uh, Elon Musk gets his satellites up and running, we'll be out in the woods. All right. Hey, uh, Mike. You said the big city. What's the population? Uh, Missoula's like eighty-five thousand. Right. Still twice as big as Shelton. I say, that's like Waterbury. Mm. So, do you have Nothing's any positive uh, infections that's in Missoula, Missoula, Mike? What's that? Do you have any positive COVID nineteen people in Missoula yet? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, there are eleven or twelve cases in Missoula. Montana has like one hundred and seventy cases, I think total, something like that. Gotcha. Couple, couple deaths, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Um. And we've been on lockdown since uh, last, uh, since this past Friday, uh, Saturday morning. Mm. Uh, we've been on lockdown for a bit longer. We can give you the heads up that enjoy takeout while it lasts. The number of restaurants offering it will get smaller and smaller. Yes. And also, don't know if you've been seeing this to the rest of you guys, but you could order groceries and have it delivered. Uh, the wait times are getting longer and longer, and now we're starting to see like Whole Foods and Instacart strike. So uh, it may be harder to order stuff in the future. So get yourself in the queue uh, in advance, and that way you might still get a shipment before it shuts down. Or you could cook. Yeah, we just go out. We actually we've been ordering from one local place a week. Yeah, that's what we do. You have to, right? Got to give back. Agree. You have to support somebody. All right, you ready to start? Every week. I think we are. Yep. All right. So I can't we had uh, last left off last week. You guys had made it to uh, Castrovel, uh, Cabaret to be precise. You went to the university to talk to Dr. Solastarin. Solastarni. Yeah, come uh, on, get it right. And she was missing. You tracked her to the Five Arches uh, Cantina. And while there, you encountered a group of smugglers. You had a fight out in the alleyway. Uh, one of the smugglers got away. The smugglers were also joined by two members of the Cult of the Devourer, which I, Lisi, know, know. which I, Lisi was able to identify by their tattoos. Uh, the one smuggler that you saved, that you spared the life of, uh, he told you that they had helped a male Karashala uh, Shanta named Dero Pakwal secure travel documents for 21 individuals permitting them to use local portals to reach Terhala Point in Yucalam. Um, most of the visas were counterfeit, including three fake IDs for Port Authority employees to help move the group's equipment, um, though the smugglers had, make, uh, had to make only minor adjustments to the legitimate academic visas that Pakwal and his ill Kasatha colleague had. And you'll remember that um, Solostani was a Kasatha. They also share... That they had doubts about Pakwal's identity, suspecting he was using an alias to avoid suspicion. Ultimately, his money was good enough that the smugglers didn't mind. Because their role focused more on securing paperwork and conveying the group's equipment through customs without scrutiny, the smugglers are not familiar with the group's exact composition. They do, however, know that Pakwal was shipping a considerable amount of firearms and heavy gear, most notably a shearing eye rifle and a number of vehicles, which are illegal to operate in Yucalan. And That would be the heavy equipment and the reason they had... Uh, some forged Port Authority employee IDs. And the reason why you asked just to read the vehicle section? Could be. So any okay. questions or comments on that? Yeah, can we go back to session one? Just catch me up real quick. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, go ahead. <laughs> uh, for anybody watching, do you want to introduce uh, Chris for people who missed it? So um, Chris uh, is a Sivian Sheeran. I don't His know. His name is Sivian. Sivian. He, he, I don't know if it's a he, she, or they. Uh, correct. What was that? Correct. Which one? You you could be a Harrier. So, so I am post. Okay, so you're a they. Got it. Correct. Um, I'll try to remember that. Uh, Sivian was a, is a member, is a recent um, addition to the Starfinder Society as well. They uh, were acting as a go-between for the University of Kabarat and the Starfinder Society. And when you guys showed up, 
um, they were happy to act as your guide and tag along if they felt like it. So, um, Chris, are you in Roll20? Can you see your chat? So if I wanted to whisper something to you so you could have private information? Yep. Okay. You could also do that through Discord, too, if you wanted to. I might be forget my Discord might still be updating, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it, it can't be because... Oh, Jules. Yeah, never mind. Don't mind me. Do I ever? <laughs> Not for 15 years-ish. <laughs> <laughs> It's like my whole life. <laughs> All right. Oh, it works now. Amazing. Yeah, I want to kill it. Yep. All right. So, uh, you had your encounter. Um, Sivian. Is it, how do you say it, Chris? Siv say it again. Sivian. You're correct. Sivian. All right. Um, Sivian had relayed what happened and the information you found back to the university, who was offered to sponsor you, uh, sponsor your, your travel to Eucalam. Um, actually, you, can, you have the main map on the screen. Um, you can see where Cabaret is with my dots, I hope. Oh, dot, I see it. And Terhala Point is just across the sea there. Uh, to uh, Ghost Dismay. Um, the only inhabited areas of Euclid by the civilized races are either, are either military bases or scientific stations, and they've all agreed that there is to be little to no technology used on Euclid, so ships are completely outlawed um, and would be um, disposed of with, with, with maximum hostility. This is ridiculous. Why are these such environmental lists? <laughs> Perhaps you should That's ask them. Me. They should because there would be no adventure. And then I you would just blast it with the well. turret. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so the university is offered to um, fund your expedition or at least sponsor it. But you, know, you still need to go get your your, um, your papers and so on and so forth. So Sivian knows a gate controller. How convenient. Well, Sivian's job is to get around, <laughs> you know. Um, oh, she gets around. Hey, hey, ho. He. They. 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 It is I'm they. just a host. What I'm just a host, people. What is the matter with you? It is 2748. You must understand pronouns by now. Come on, come on. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's only 318. So, uh, Sivian, you know uh, <laughs> gate controller Priari at the Port Authority. And why don't you take us there? Why is there a port authority? Because there's the oh, so, so since Jules obviously didn't read everything, the gates is, there's a series of elf gates that are very uh, in demand to be used, and there aren't that many of them, so they have to have a port authority to manage. Them. I just think that the name is very New York ironic, <laughs> seeing as there's a store called Port Authority. A store. Yes. Anyway. Chris, you're what up. sort of rock do you live under? <laughs> so I'm saying, never. like we should we probably go like talk to some people, you know what I'm saying? I, I know some guys. Actually it's a Wait, female. Who are you? Uh <laughs> uh, uh like we met yesterday, Sivian. You were very quiet yesterday. I feel like this is the first <laughs> time you are speaking to us. Uh like nobody pays attention to me ever. I feel like as a guide you should be talking more. Well, considering my race is telepathic, uh, no. You are telepathic? <laughs> what? He, he is he a Lashunta. Do you see this? He holds his finger. They are a Lashunta. To his head. To his head. To his head. <laughs> what am I thinking am right, I thinking now? right now? <laughs> the number four. And no, my little small arms do not do anything. <laughs> nah, close enough. <laughs> So, like, uh, we need to go to the authorities and check out what's going on. Are we at the port authorities? You, you have to. <laughs> I don't know where we are, by the way. Just okay. You're, you're still. You've. Uh, you, you oh. finished the smugglers. You're still in the alley. 
you have the information you had already um, when you started investing when they started investigating that soul starting you had already contacted the university so you know that they're willing to work with you to get them what they need um, so you need to get them papers uh, to oh. get over there and we're with this group now okay all right uh, before we go, is anyone forgetting anything right now? Oh, that's right, Ghost isn't really an old man. <laughs> yes, that is true, I am not an old man. The disguise is good, no? But that is not what I am talking about. No. No. I will give you one guess. I did guess! I'll give you is it one your birthday? <laughs> he rolls his eyes. He, he looks like a very pissed off old albino rat man. Oh, oh, oh. Pick then, me, pick me! He points to you. I want to guess again! Okay, go, last try. The academy! No! They're tracking you, they want to kill you! There so are, you can't There are three the dead bodies. Look, one, two, three, four, five. There are five dead people here in the alleyway. Oh! Uh, we going to leave them here and then be chased by the cops? Uh, I believe there is a uh, compactor right around the corner. We could uh, put them in. Hmm. Give me a perception check, Jeff. Give me one sec. Let me get my dice. <laughs> <laughs> we should tell me it was ice for a scotch, too. Did, did Jeff actually say there was a compactor around the corner? <laughs> that was Jeff. That was Jeff. That is... <laughs> Putting out ways to dispose of dead bodies. I like yeah. it. Uh, Alright. <coughs> Turns out Amaya is not useless after all. No. <laughs> Other than saying, He's right there. Killed that. Really? Thanks, because we couldn't see them all. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the, uh, this is the guy teaching our youth, by the way. <laughs> 19. That's oh, wow. So you, Good you, job wasting it. There is no um, compactor, but there are numerous places in which you could stash the dead bodies. Um, a sewer grate you can remove. Um, That's probably our you put one of a dumpster. So you can dispose Maybe of Maybe that is what I saw around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Well, since you had the big idea, you can dispose of the bodies. I will delegate. <laughs> you, uh, Ilya, help Ozzy. me. Help her. Ozzy, uh, if you will. Uh, of course, that's what I'm here for. Please pick all five I of them up. Notice in me. <laughs> At once. <laughs> Just, why, would I be, why would I not be the most efficient as possible? Of course, all five. At once. <laughs> Ilya, I am curious. Can you read their minds right now, now that they are dead? Uh, There's nothing to read. Are you sure? Maybe their brain is slowly decomposing and there is residual electronic activity. Let's try it, guys. Who, wanna, who wants to kill Ghost? Ozzy, I need a, a, an athletic check. I took the phones the other last night, maybe? I heard you. I know you did. Now, with your internet, that's not always a guarantee. Are we that bad? At times. You're all like that, so. I just got it now. Really? You can't pick up all five at once. Uh, okay, I make two trips. Okay. <laughs> Wait, where are you putting them? In the dumpster? There's a dumpster and a sewer grade. Oh, I... Sorry. So if they can put it in the sewer, you could drag them and it'd be easy. I, I owe Ghost three credits. We had, a, we had a bet that you could pick them all up. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh Con Sidian consider considering all the fire i took during the fight i think i'm doing quite well thank you, thank you. So, does, anybody, does anybody take a resolve take a take a 10 minute and take a resolve point yet healthy nope. yeah i had done that last session okay okay all right everybody like i think we need to go to the uh port authority Riori. That's what you sometimes sounds like, Josh, just so you know. Not all the time, but every once in a while. Yep. Oh. So, so listen, let's all head out, and I'll show you guys exactly where you need to go, right? Let's go. That sounds very good. 
Are you going to you take going us to by take the us ocean by and ocean? then perhaps do some surfing at the same time? Like, good. I mean, choices are wonderful, right? Uh, no, let's go. All right. All right. So he, he, uh, they lead you out to the, uh, through back through the restaurant, out to out to the, uh, the main street. Hails down a, a cab. No, we have a car. We just we could just take the car from. Yeah, we just stole that car. <laughs> you stole a car. Yeah, there was one on the map that you definitely didn't mean to be there, and we stole it. Does it fit? You? He said they drove up he said they it. Two devour people. Yes, I did. It, fit, it, it fits two. Oh, it fits oh. two. There's seven of you. Well, two of so, them. Three trips. <laughs> you, flag, you, you flag down a cab. Takes you to the Port Authority. Um, Sivian leads you to the office of uh, Gate Controller Ryari, who's a female Demaya Lashanta. And uh, as you walk in, she looks up and she sees uh, Sivian. What do you want today? Uh, hey, you know, uh, it's been a long time since we've been here, and, uh, you know, these cool guys, the gals that I'm with, and, and robot that I'm with, really, we need some, we need to, we need to get somewhere. Can you help us? Where do you need to go? Uh, where are we going? Tukula Point? Yes. Tukula Point? Tur <laughs> You want to go to Yucca? Uh, well, yeah. Look, uh, we just kind of let you know, out. Got a cool little video. We want to go check out how it is. Paperwork for that could take weeks. Some people wait months. Well, come on. You know, like, we're we're good buds, right? You owe me one from that time. I believe you owe me one from that time. Oh man, yeah, you might pray. Well, what do I gotta do? I want to take a class at the university. Yeah, uh, okay, all right. What, what class are you looking to take? I, I, I want to take a class on xenoanthropology. Oh. Really? You mean Bob Parker's class? Oh man, that's gonna be wild. I could get up on that. Yeah. So here's what I I, I I don't need a grade. I just want to audit the class. But I want you to help me get the grades afterwards. Oh my god. Uh, so you want me to basically I? Uh. All right, I guess I could do that. Really? Shouldn't be too much of a problem since I have some dirt, you know what I'm saying? On old Bob Barker. You should read his thoughts, man, when he's in the bathroom. or hideous. Please make sure to spay your pets. You are one dirty bug. <laughs> These hands aren't for tickling. Uh, Y'all realize it's my hands, right? It's still gonna cost a hundred credits per per uh, per pack per pass because that's just what it costs. Um, Chris, the university has provided you with a budget for some of this. I am going to whisper it to you. Yep. Because otherwise, Bob will, will spend every cent I have of it. Uh, that's exactly right. You know, goes too well. No, I know Bob too well. <laughs> Is there a difference? Actually, I put the number in there twice, but it's only the one. Number. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. So you're like a hundred per person. That's yeah. seven of us. Average is about seven hundred. Tell you what, I'll get you for five. We call it a day. And no, this is not negotiable. And she points at the board where it lists some of the rates for for paperwork and such. There's transportation fees. Uh, all that kind of BS. It works out to be a hundred credits a person. She, she can't. She, it's clear she can't waive that. All right. Well, I can do it. Twisted my forearms. Yes. Well, you know, um, it is uh, late in the evening. Um, if you hustle, 
you might make it tonight. Otherwise, it'll be first thing in the morning. All right. Guys, we got to hurry. All right. It's down that way. Go to the end of the port. Take a left. You'll see the gate. So it's the classic scene of the guys trying to run and catch the ship at the end of the at the end of the dock. Pretty sure it's a portal. You guys make it to the portal just in time before they close the night. <laughs> you, uh, you you pass through. The uh, the feeling is. I will leave it up to you to describe how it feels for each person if you wish. It is different. Uh, you arrive at Terhala Point, Terhalu Point, and it the sun is coming up. Because it's a different side of the world. <laughs> Say hello to the sun. Da, 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 da. Does anyone want to talk about what they felt passing through? Or oh, you just want to play it? Uh, as soon as um, Trigger is done throwing up, he'll explain exactly how he feels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, nothing turns a soldier's stomach. I'll go with the obscure movie quote. Uh, kind of tingly. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, that's a little Armageddon right there oh, after the. Oh, um, okay. I don't feel bad for not knowing that one. All right. That was a good one. That was, that was stretching. Uh, Ghost is thinking as he steps that's through that's about a class that he took that, that explained the concepts of teleportation and how there is a theory is a that theory. when you get teleported, the original body the original is completely body. destroyed and then reconstituted. <laughs> and so, therefore, every time you get teleported, you die. And as he thinks this, as he thinks this, he dies. He dies. And then a new ghost <laughs> steps out of the teleporting portal on the other side. What a nerd. And, and Nala had done this uh, dozens of times growing up because she has visited the forest areas uh, growing up. All right. So, uh, anybody else? I mean, Lucy's used to it, too. Just like Nala, she's done this hundreds of times. Not hundreds. Not hundreds. A couple of Oh, like whatever. <laughs> so. You've done it twice. Uh, Ghost also wonders if this could be used as a means of disposing of bodies more effectively. He makes a mental <laughs> note to mental note to this room. We could have brought the bodies with us. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Through. We get the phrase of the issue occupying one. Good thinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the station at Terhalu Point sits at the tip of a broad peninsula covered in rolling plains and expanses of tall pale green grasses that shimmer with violet hues in the wind. Mm. Short-lived blooms of magenta fungus tower nearly 20 feet over the landscape, though many have begun to wilt and others are marred by bite marks of half a dozen sizes. Trumpeting calls echo across the plains as immense six-legged creatures with long, swooping necks track steadily across the, grace, the grass toward the western jungles. <gasps> yeah. Welcome yeah. to Jurassic Park. Yes. Oh but you didn't God. let me play the, music, the theme music that I was going to play. Uh, beyond rises the singing range, its peaks barely visible through the haze. Um, <laughs> waiting for you is a is a, a male human standing at the gate. Uh, this is the 98-pound weekly nerd. Um, hello, I am Dr. Carr. I am not You can just doc, call me Dr. K. I'm, uh, I'm one of the ranking scientists here. I have... Uh, I, I do a lot of studying here. So, welcome to Yucalam. What, 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 what brings you here? We mostly study the, 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 the plant life here from the, the station, so you don't need to sing about the dinosaurs. Is it always so hot here? This is very, it is very uncomfortable. This is early in the morning. Wait till it gets hot. What? What? Did he get, get hotter? Gets hotter. Yeah, it, it's it's probably already eighty five degrees and eighty to eighty five percent humidity, and it's early. The sun has it's sun is just rising. Oh, I mean, it is. Uh, uh, the, the adventure, as written, actually has a survival check every day with with conditions that change. Oh, wow. we'll do some of those, but I'm not going to torture you too much with it. Okay. So, um, oh, so, this is awesome weather. Love it. So, 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 what brings you here? Oh, uh, fun. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, uh, Ty. Ty was trying to look. Okay, just. Ty. <laughs> ah, we are here for the uh, research, and uh, uh, we are wondering if you have seen uh, 
uh, one of our colleagues, Dr. Uh, Solostrom. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I did. I just saw Stani is a friend of mine as well. But she came to him to just, just, just yesterday. Ah, we were hoping to meet her here. She did. She was not looking well. She was with the, uh, what does that man's name? The Paquals group. Oh. Uh, they departed into the wilderness. Right, they were going up to, uh, what was the name of the place? Uh, the station that they were going to? They were They were going, They. they I was. I didn't like them. They had a lot of mercenaries, and and they were they were headed to the some elven. They said they were headed to some elven ruins in the northwest to perform archaeological survey work, but they had a lot of guns and other stuff that I didn't think was appropriate for that. As he stands there, looking like a mercenary with a big gun on his back. Yeah, but he wasn't a lizard like you. <laughs> Ghost carefully polishes his Sheeran eye rifle. What kind of guns? One of those. Other guns, I don't know. I'm not a gun guy. Look at him. Does I, he look like a gun guy? I, I do spores, molds, and fungus. No, he does not look like a gun guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys. That was good Ghostbusters reference there. Well done. <laughs> um, I am surrounded by nerds. So uh, are, are, you, are you heading in that same direction? Definitely. Definitely. Oh. If you want, I, we have some aerial reconnaissance for some drones. We could we could look at what's between here and there. Oh, that's probably. That sounds like an excellent idea. You are tiny, but you are smart. <laughs> oh, that's right. What was that? You're. I said it is a good it idea. A good you, idea. Are you are tiny, tiny but, you are, but smart. you are smart. I'm still taller than you. Hmm. Everybody's taller than him. Don't think of that as an accomplishment. Pay no attention to the old man. He is doddering and foolish in his old age. Yes, that he's, is me, doddering and deadly. I, I don't think he's going to make the trip quick. It's, what, it's not nice right what, there. What That's, do you mean? I'm not going to make the trip. If anyone is yeah. going to die, it's going to be Sivia. That guy over there, look at the bug. He is the first one to die, let me tell you. Mm. I'm not the first one to die anymore! No, you are number two now. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so he offers to, to to take you in to the uh, into one of the rooms in the outpost where they have a three D holographic map of the area. Oh, fancy! And it's better than my map. They uh, zoom in on the area, which in Trahala Point. And um, do you have something? I have a map, and I have Doctor Solistarni's book. From his office? Her. Her? Sorry. <laughs> you were calling her him all last session. No, I'm not used to it. So the, uh, looking at the, the notebook that you guys found hidden in Dr. Solstarney's office, um, Dr. K is like, ah, this, this is interesting. And he's able to help map out kind of the path that he the, the thinks Solstarney was trying to follow in the book, uh, along with what he has on the, um, paper and what, what they've done with the aerial reconnaissance and the uh, the route should lead you guys to a fairly sparse lowlands around the point into dense subtropical rainforest to the northwest and finally into the foothills of the singing range and if, if you zoom in on the map you can see Trahalu, Trahalu point and the singing range there um, can, can I can I get some copies of that, that, that book it looks like there's some interesting things in it um I, I I don't know. I it's not your book. That's your one. Please. But he was hide that she was hiding it in, in her office. It was it was hit. What is she didn't want people anyway, to see anyway. it. What is in that book? Notes. Have you have you read the book? book? When would I have had time to read the book? While we were While killing we were all the people, you were doing people. nothing. I thought you would be reading the book. I was helping! Yes, I am not angry. It was I the am... one that wasn't doing anything. I am just disappointed. I am not angry. Thanks. I am just disappointed. disappointed. That's the worst feeling! Yes. 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 Get used yes, to it. Or read the books. Read the books. I'll tell you what. If you let me take some pictures of the book, 
Ooh. We have some equipment you guys can have. A trade tree. What kind of equipment? Some armor and some other stuff. Like? Stuff. I don't know how to use this stuff. You gotta tell what? me what stuff is, or there's no that, deal. That sounds like a very fair deal. Alright, right. So he takes you to a storeroom, and uh, he starts taking pictures as he opens the door. He takes the notebook, he's taking pictures of it. Inside, um, you find a scratched up suit of Lashanta Ringwear 2 armor. Whoa. You want me to type this in the chat so everybody can it. see it? Including the source book, please. It is uh, level <laughs> 5 armor. Uh, oh, it's heavy oh, it's armor. Heavy. So this is more Ozzy's area. Whoa, Whoa. Holy, moly. holy moly. It gives you yeah, AC plus 8. KAC plus 8. Sweet, dude. Nice. I don't, know who, I don't know who can carry it, though. Ozzy, is that better Ozzy, than the armor you got now? Uh, I, I want to look at the whole thing. It sounds like it's it, though. A, it's a, Adam, it's an armor check penalty, minus 2. Speed plus adjustment, two. minus 5 feet. Uh, it's a bulk of two, and it has one upgrade slot. That sounds really good. Yeah, EAC, EAC bonus plus eight, KAC bonus plus ten, maximum deck bonus plus two, yeah, penalty minus two, speed adjustment minus five feet, one upgrade slot, bulk two. It's going to slow you down. Uh, it slows me down less than my current armor. Oh, seriously? What is the EAC and KAC bonus on your current armor? Uh, EAC is 4, KAC is 6, speed adjustment is 2. Um, that's thin plate. He, yeah, it's yeah, a, thin plate. A minus 10 to speed. And yeah, that's squares. what I said. Minus, minus 2 squares is what I meant. So this is almost so this twice is a, as it's a, a bulk, And it's a bulk 3. That's heavy. Your old stuff. It's like this stuff is way better. Agree. Agree. Does anybody else is in the group anybody... able to wear heavy, or is it just Ozzy? I think Ozzy's the only one. All right. There's a carbon steel curved blade. Ooh. How big? What's the length of it? I don't know. Blade length? <laughs> like a dagger or 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 speed? Or it's, uh, it's one oh. ten. Carbon steel blades, blades bite deeply, bite causing deeply bleeding causing wounds. Bleeding. The blade of an ultra-thin curved blade looks delicate, but delicate. it's as hard as carbon steel, carbon. and it keeps a fine edge. Uh, uh, what'd you say, Chris? What'd you say, Chris? 1d10? Yeah, yeah, it's 10 damage with a bleed 1d6. Bulk 2. It's heavy. Hmm. How long is it? It's not a reach weapon, is it? Negative. No. Didn't think so. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it's, it's, kind of heavy, it's kind of heavy for Bob or I to use, so I don't know if somebody else can use that, but... What are the, my dual indoor? To keep Bob grenade. I mean, for, for the little rat guys, that's pretty big. Yep, Both agreed. Big. That's too, too big for us. Plus, it doesn't have the operative. It wouldn't let me do uh, trick attack damage. Right. Sticky let me bomb. get rid of my dual sword and take... What's wrong with two sticky bomb grenade? No, it's level two. Oh, you Mark said two. it better. I would have said there were two. You <laughs> did say there were two. So the sticky bomb grenade, Mark Two. Oh, I ha I have some of those too. Those things are cool. Mm. Entangle one d four, two d four uh, rounds. Nice. Um, four doses of tier one antitoxin. Ooh, that's, Ooh, that's not good. That's wait, not good. Wait, um, like. What, what, why is there suddenly antitoxin in our adventure? Wait, wait a minute. That, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> and four doses of spray flesh. Oh. oh, those are good. Um, we, 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 I can also give you um, um, field rations. They're not the tastiest thing, but they are edible by all races. I can give you three weeks for each of you. And I can charge any of your weapons. So it will be most generous. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you're, I, I can provide a, I have a little bit of stand. If you need to fill in a few empty um, spots, you have a little bit of what? You, you cut, out, you cut out ammunition. If you need to fill in a few, if you fired a few shots, you want to fill in a, fill up a, 
a, a, a cartridge or whatever you guys call it. Battery? All right, we can charge a battery, because you can't charge it out there. That's why I want you to all keep track of... Um... Uh, actually, that, that's not completely true. I can't. I have the backup generator. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, but it takes a turn to charge anything. It's one I have charge, charge every charge 10 minutes. Yes. As long as he one charge every 10 minutes. You're going to be our best friend. <laughs> our best friend. Um, I have uh, all, all, everything I have is full. Which means I can I'm, just I'm good. If anybody else needs to charge anything up. Uh, oh, extra battery is great. That's going to. Of course, now. Yeah, if you should transfer as nearly good. Uh, what is spray flush again? I have, uh, as far as like the healing. Uh, spray flush. <laughs> Uh, is I'm just pulling it up right now. Uh, although, you, if you have anything that shoots, out limited number of those. There's no getting around that. Oh, like my dart gun. Yeah, Your I dark. actually, yeah, I, I am not carrying that. Uh, the, we we have I have that one weapon, Josh, that that shoots real projectile. I'm, I I am not bringing. So here's spray so flush. Advanced biotech medical device. It sprays neutral biomass into a wound or an area of concern such as a clearly disease or a poison section of your body. If you have training in medicine, in medicine a dose of spray dose will allow you to, check, allow you to, to treat deadly wounds on a creature that's already received its limit uh, that day. If you succeed if you on a succeed DC-25, on a DC-25 the, the next time the creature rests, rests for 10 minutes, for 10 or they spend a result, spend a result stamina, stamina, instead, then they can get the benefit of the medicine check to treat deadly wounds. If you're okay. not trained in medicine, not trained in medicine, it just acts as a med patch and gives you hit points back. Okay, so other than other than ghost and trigger, is anybody else trained in medicine? Hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. So guys, I, you should decide what you're taking and who has what, because if you're in the middle of combat and somebody needs a spray flash, we need to know who has it. If they have it, or if they have to go get it from somebody. So, Ozzy should definitely have so, some spray flash. So take a minute to do that. I'm gonna go get some ice cubes for my scotch. Yeah, sort out who has what, put it in the chat column so we have it all listed up. Sure. Uh, spray Flash, I want to point out, it, you need to have medicine skill to use. And it doesn't, uh, and then it heals, allows you to heal somebody else. Or maybe yourself. Or maybe yourself. But um, oh, okay. it's, it, if Ozzy had if it, Ozzy it would be useless it. to him unless he's got medicine yep. training. I have no medicine. Did you expect him to have medicine? I have medics. He's I'm like, used to having oh, medics, is what I should say. <laughs> so we have two people who have med medical Bobby training. Chris. Uh, Bob, I have three doses of spray flush, so if you and Chris want to split the other two, like the other four... I three. have medicine, too. Oh, if that... oh, okay. Let's spread it around. Let's give those spread, two let's spread those to four around. Ilesi, one to Ghost. I, have, I also have a healing serum that's Mark 1, I think, Good. from somewhere else. I'm, I'm carrying eight Mark 1 healing serums. They do oh. 1d8 hit points. I do have medicine, I don't think. Oh, you do not have medicine? Yeah, 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 medicine? I, I do not. It's not one of my skills. Okay. Oh, it's not. Okay. So then two and two so, for Jules and... So Bob, Bob take two. Jules take two. Um, just FYI, too, I have two incendiary grenades, two frag grenades, and two sticky bomb grenades. Wow. So if somebody else wants to carry the other two sticky bomb grenades... Uh, I am I am uh, proficient in uh, grenades. In grenades? Okay, so why don't you grab the two sticky bomb grenades? I'll take the um, I'll take the uh, slashing device. Okay, so Chris is going to take the carbon steel curved blade. That is sweet. One d ten slashing. Okay, I, I just want to check. Did I? Did we really just get a level five armor? We yeah, we yeah. yeah. just gave you a level five armor, dude. That's insane. Dude, that that armor, is sick. I mean, eight and ten, eight and ten to your EAC and KAC. Yeah, we, and we stay about fifty feet behind him. Agreed. Yeah, right. <laughs> just yeah, like, just let everybody shoot and, and hit me. So far, uh, this <laughs> adventure seems to... If only Ekarath had this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't Ekarath like... Ekarath was a dragonborn, not a Vesk. It's different, damn it. It's slightly different reptile. The, my bad. Yeah, his, his fire breath dealt more damage. <laughs> I don't like how they're giving us these things, because the implication is that we're going to need them, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, the other thing that we... That we need to decide what to do with is what are those poison thing those poison reverse things? Oh yeah, the antitoxin, the tier one antitoxin. What is that? So I think um, ghost trigger, Ialisi, and um, uh, Jeff. I can't. I never remember. Nala. Nala. Should you need to be that. trained? 
Or is that just an administering? I, I think that's just like a like a like a like an auto injector pen thing. Here's right. what it says: It's a broad spectrum medicinal. Decide to weaken all the poisons in your system. Uh, when you take it, or you're take injected it. with an antitoxin, you get a bonus. Uh, for an antitoxin level one, it's going to be equal to plus four to your saving throw against poison for a number of hours equal to its tier. So for one hour, you get a plus four to saving throws versus poison. So it does not cure uh, your poison. It just gives you a bonus in trying to save against it. Who took them? We're working that out. Looking like everybody but Adam and Chris is getting one. Small chance. Um... I'm wondering if some of these toxins are natural toxins from the planet that maybe uh, Nala and Elise are immune to, just from being uh, about on the planet. Yeah, but I mean, we didn't live in the forest. Are yeah, we inherently evolved. Immune? I went with Irish tonight. I don't have any options. Uh, is that uh, is that in your like race sheet that the Shunta are immune to certain kinds of poisons? No, I just made that up. I was hoping. Oh, that was good. Sorry, 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 sorry. There's six of us, and there's four potions, and there's two uh, Lushunta. That's uh, that's the math that I did right there. Nice. There are also two Yasoki. So uh, I do feel that uh, Ozzy is likely to get poisoned being in the front. So. I'll I'll give up my spray to give it to Ozzy. <coughs> Not that Ghost Wait. would do that before. It <laughs> I, I yeah I mean I, mean, I, I don't mind necessarily, I don't mind necessarily giving one to Ozzy, but we can also like every, somebody's always going to be around them too. So yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't stop anything immediately, so it only gives you the bonus yeah, to the saving. Right. Yeah, it really doesn't matter where we put them, especially if it's just going to yeah. be. Does everybody have some sort of healing potion? Everybody that has so. healing potion. Anybody? Can drink. I was on top of the spray flash. I'm talking about a healing, a healing serum. Does everybody who can, everybody have one of those? Mm -hmm. I know a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, Ozzy has one. I I have eight of them. Can't remember. I'm just checking. I mean, we're all covered. I don't have three. Three. I have one. I have zero. Mike, did you buy some? Yes. He, had, he did had, say that last session. I yep. had four and I bought four more. Um, I can hand out a couple to people. Uh, who doesn't have one and need? Yeah. Um, all right, Chris, you have one now, so write that down. I have seven now. <laughs> what is it? It's a healing. Mark one healing serum. You get. You get. Uh, one d eight. One d eight hit points. Got it. I'll. Let um, Nala, do you have Nala's got them? I, I have a couple, them? yes. Okay. Um, Ozzy, you got them? Yeah, I got one. Okay. So as long as everybody's got one, I, I got seven then. I can always run around. So I thought I had three, but I have uh, one pre existing on the sheet and the one that I bought before we left. So I only have two, but that's not bad. Oh, Jules, so, you're uh, jotting down. Who's got the antitoxin? Go. Ghost, take one more. No, we never decided. Ghost, write down you have one more. I'll give you one more. Thank you, Trigger. Thank you, Trigger. I will be sure to use it on you. All right. Um, so as of right now, Qual and Solstarni have a at least a night and part of a day's lead on you. That sucks. It's up to you what the next steps are. You have a vague dream. Oh, um, it, can I uh, impress upon Trigger to uh, remove the quick release sheath from the thin plate and put it onto the Lashunto ring wear? Uh, sure. I can do that. Fantastic. That quick release sheath will continue to hold my tack lash. <laughs> Uh, uh, Elise, what does the book say? Is it telling us about our destination? So the book is, is Dr. Solistani's notes on the immediate region. Um, she spent a great deal of time 
<clears throat> investigating um, the one, two, seven, three. guys. One two seven three. No, that wasn't it. Um, of uh, uh, investigating the notes of Halqueen Zahn, who was a famous ex uh, archaeological explorer, explored the region. She debunked in her mind almost everything that he said. And however, he does have references to things within the map. There's a reference to a, an obelisk and some other things that may or may not pan out. Um, but there is reference at the end of it to a star observatory that may have some interest for you guys. And that's it. There's some tips on how to um, and getting around what to look for, how not to, you know, get poison ivy, how to treat poison ivy. Actually, it's not ivy. It's not poison ivy. It's you, you know, should give that to mom. So <laughs> that kind. Of, there's some. There are some survival tips in it. For reading the book, you get plus two on your survival checks. Mm. Every day when you survive, to, to everybody, everybody, mm. you're able to point out the bad things and the good things, what they can and can't eat. So, um, so there is some interesting things in the book. It is definitely uh, has some value to both you and to the uh, the Doctor K. Anything else you want to know, Mister Bob? Uh, do we pick up anything else that we haven't asked about, uh, Doctor K? What sort of poisons are there out there in the jungles? Because you just gave us four antitoxins. Yeah, yeah, yeah there a lot. Oh. All different kinds. Are there creatures, there creatures that we should be careful about? All of them. Oh. Which ones are the most dangerous? The ones you don't think are dangerous. Uh, what do they look like so we can recognize them? It's spores, molds, and fungus. Uh, growing up in Asana, we would come here... Uh, uh, as a rite of passage, and uh, you, they told us, don't trust anything that moves. <laughs> that is great. Thank you very much, Nana. And be weary of stuff that doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> Go shake his head. Well, Dr. K, what is your number? We can contact you and show FaceTime video when we run into monsters. There, there is no satellite coverage here, so you will not be able to contact out. But we are living in the year 318. We have spaceships. There is no satellite. Yes, but then there's no fun in the adventure if you have two feet. What is this? The dish network? So, okay, fine. So what, what you're saying is that the, the uh, canopy, the leaf cover, is far too thick for satellites to penetrate. Oh, the minerals, oh, of course. guys. It's all about the minerals in the mountains that interfere with the radiation. <laughs> oh, if it was the minerals in the canopy, you should have just said so. I see now. Okay, okay, that is a shame. Yeah, you'll be able to hear from us in the first day, but after that, not too many. So that's when stuff's gonna go down. <laughs> <laughs> so after the first day, you won't hear much. What if I lay down some fiber optic cable? We'll just go back. <clears throat> we'll lay it as we go. Then we can play video Beautiful, games. Jeff. I, I, I don't think you carry enough. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, thank you very much, Dr. K. This was very helpful. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Bye, Dr. K. All right, so you guys are heading out? Mm. Yes. All right, so it's a you know it's a typical fort, big walls. They open the big gate. The, the six of you trudge on out into the into the uh, the grasslands beyond. So, so do we trudge, trudge, trudge? <laughs> Jules just said the same thing. <laughs> we're so broken. <laughs> we get into those. It's okay, Jules. We're broken we're together. together. <laughs> All right, so um, you're leaving. It's it's kind of mid to late morning because you got there early and uh by midday it is hotter than any of you can it, it's less comfortable than any of you can be being in a long long time so everybody give me a survival check you all get you naturally get a plus two because of the, what you've read uh plus whatever pluses you already have well that's bad i didn't think survival was one. an important skill Gosh, what was the check 
Survival. 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 It's the one I have a plus nine. All right, let's get out of here on survival. Oh, I am surviving. And then plus two, right? Mm -hmm. Twelve. Seventeen. Nineteen. I got a sixteen. Hey, we're doing good, I think. We're doing just fine. I have an eight, but I might have a bonus that I just took something, and I'm trying to look it up. Mm. I see. How do you have anything, Bob? Say again? again. How do you have fancy survival ghost thing? Uh, 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 I had to steal from steal other people's other. code and then modify accordingly. Awesome. There's a, <laughs> there's but there, a, is a but there is a Starfinder character sheet that you can load in, and then you plug in all your stats, and it'll get you something that looks very close to this. I'll look at it. I started it, but I got bored. Did anybody get less than a 10? I might have. You said you rolled an 8, though, right, Jeff? Yeah. Does that include the plus that 2 from the book? That does not include the plus 2 from... Thank you. So you hit it. Oh, then I rolled a 19. All right, so everybody has succeeded for the first for the first check. Woohoo! And uh, those of you who are, who are close, who just barely made it, think this is going to be a long, long trip. Henry says hi, everybody. Adam, he misses you. Hey! Uh, I took toughness... So I get a. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh wait, hang on. I didn't see him. Oh, oh he's gone. Okay. But I got. Um, I got toughness, which means I get a plus four to Constitution checks for running to avoid damage for force march, holding breath, avoid damage, starvation, and thirst, and a plus four bonus to fortitude saving throws. It doesn't specifically say to. Uh, uh, survival checks, but all right. Well, it's, it is it, well. Survival checks are a little different. It's not just toughing it out. It's you know knowing where to, when when to rest yourself and when to do the right thing and when to avoid this and when to you know don't step in that kind of stuff. So the plus two helped out. Yeah. So all right. So your 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 first day, it's pretty uneventful. Um, you make you make some good progress. It's it's um, you see some um, everybody give me a survival or perception check, whichever was higher. We just did that. I know, but this is different for something else. Uh, do we get a plus two from the book again? No. Okay. Twenty three. Thirteen. I got, a, I got a 19, guys. What'd you get, Mikey? 19. Yosoki, your survivors, your they survivors, got a racial got plus a two. 13. 13. Nala? Uh, wait, 13 plus 9. Uh, 22. Mm. My bad, I gotta add that in. You don't get the plus, you didn't get the plus two for the book in this. I know, I got a plus 9 in my survival. Okay. My survival is zero. <laughs> First, I was afraid. I was petrified. Adam, Jeff, what did you guys get? Uh, I got a nine. What? Good thing I picked survival. Ozzy, surely that's got to be one of the skills that you've, you've trained on. Oh, it is. What did you roll? Did you... I rolled a five. Oh my God. I rolled a two. Wow. <laughs> All right. I heard what Jeff got. Right at 13, sorry. Okay. Um, he was early. So nobody, nobody notices anything out of the ordinary. Except for the fact that there definitely is. No. Not it's, even it's, with a uh, 23? 23? No, it was a 25. Okay. So. Um, day two, make it, make it through day one. You set up camp for day for, for night one. Um, do you set a guard? Yes. Yes, we do. We set up two guards. <laughs> okay. we, we we have enough that we should be able to uh, cycle through. We could set three guards. Well, that's crazy. Four. <laughs> Let's set up six right. guards. We don't sleep. <laughs> what are you cubbies? You just have to meditate for four hours. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, uh, quick question. Eldrin trance. 
Does our armor, like I know any armor acts as a spacesuit. Like you can hit the button, the face comes down, face comes down. and then it has <clears throat> its own atmosphere. It's own atmosphere. And I presume it, can... it protects you from the elements out in space, right? One day per level. Ah, so does so that work does in that jungles? Work in like jungle? if I wanted to have air conditioning, I could just use my armor? One, one day per level of the armor. Okay, okay. You know so what I'm doing Adam's... tomorrow. So Adams is a uh, he can go for eight days. <laughs> oh, his is level five. Right? Five, but then I'll take eight. Five. Sorry. And then no actually, five. if he wants more air conditioning, he can put on his old armor and get another five days out of that too. Are you carrying your old armor? I assumed you left it at the base since you didn't want to carry it through the jungle. I got the space for it. I'll take I'll take it so we can sell it later. Unless we could just sell it for cash right there. You could not sell it for cash there. Um, the doctor will keep an eye on it. He, he, he'll... I, I, I'm going to give you a, a negative one carrying an extra set of arms. I'm going to carry it with you through the jungle. But even though it doesn't encumber me? Why? Well, how does it not encumber you? I'm just saying... Because of the weight. But extra weight in general, I, I would think, would be a... But it's not extra weight. <laughs> I'm, I'm really strong. Yeah, it's not enough to be extra weight. <laughs> like, it doesn't over... It doesn't go past his encumbrance limit. All right. Then I will withdraw my statement. You are welcome to cart around all the crap you want for <laughs> That's what we've been doing. I've been carrying around, been the, carrying second around the second skin. Yeah. It's not worth selling that. That's a level one. It's called second skin. It can't weigh anything, right? It's one bolt. It's one bolt. One L. L. Which is like 10 pounds, right? Oh, no, one bolt is 10 pounds. One L is one pound. It's oh. one L. It's one pound. Oh, Alright. Um, so, well, watch duty. Who and when? Ghost goes first. I want to go with the new guy. I'll go with Ghost. I'll try to go with Ghost. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a long, long couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that leaves um, Trigger and we'll Ozzy. All right, who's first? Uh, ghost. Yeah, ghost and Nala go first. Nala go first. All right. Uh, nothing eventful happens. The humidity almost seems to break for a few seconds, uh, and then a torrential rain comes down. Uh, the guy did provide you with tents, so you are those who are sleeping are covered. Those who are on watch, it's up to you if you're wet or not. Nala, let me ask you a question. <laughs> did you fall asleep, you fall asleep Nala? Already? Nala? Yes, I, I uh, usually what the people say is when, let me ask you a question, they proceed with the question. Stay awake. <laughs> that is a nice try to recover, but I understand. <laughs> it is difficult to stay awake here. Stay awake. So, uh, let me understand. Your grandmother dead. <laughs> is that right? Uh, I hope she is not dead. Oh, but pretty much, pretty much, no one has seen her. She has not sent you postcard. She is dead. <laughs> uh, it is, as the government believes, she, uh, to them, she is dead. Yes. What, what is it that you believe? Uh, I believe that, uh, I will not believe she is dead until I see her, her body. Good for you. That is great. That means it will take more time for you to file a report with the steward police. I hope you find her someday. Or her body. <laughs> Thank you. You know what is strange to me, Nala? What? 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 <laughs> uh, wake up again. You must wake up. Please, do not sleep. It is good I am here with you. <laughs> this is what is strange to me. We have joined the Starfinder Society, right? Yes. And what yes. are we doing now? Are we on a spaceship in space battles? No. Uh, we, are, we are sweating our balls off in the jungle. This is horrible. Well, Two things. I do not have uh, testicles. Hmm. And two, I grew up uh, 2,000 miles from here. So, no, I did not go very far. It is good the whole planet is not like this. What happened to the elves? Uh, they are on the planet to the southeast. Oh, okay. It's the ancient elves built the gates that the knowledge to create them is lost. That's strange. You build gates and then you leave. That's like building nice house and then leaving, no? Alright, no more talk. I am bored of you. 
It was nice talking. <laughs> All right, who's next? Uh, Ozzy and uh, Go. Uh, sorry, Trigger. Ozzy and Trigger. All right, there's no encounter. Is there any uh, character discussion? Uh, thank you for moving the upgrade to my armor into this new armor. It works very well. Oh, Ozzy, you, you, you're, you're so welcome. It's my pleasure. Anytime I can help, you let me know. I can help. Thank you. I might actually defend you from death. Oh, that that would be good. I would like that. I, I don't I don't like to die. It only happened once, and it wasn't any fun. Happened? Not is only going to happen once. It it, it, it yeah once only once. <laughs> Did you want Can to ask end on that at all? <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh. You 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 rem you remember those guys on the other planet, right? I, I do. They were they were not nice. Guys. No, they were not. And 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 because of that, um, yeah, I accidentally got died. I accidentally got died. <laughs> you seem to have weathered that fairly well. Uh yeah, is, is, um, ghost, ghost, and I have some, some, some good friends. He was so, able to get me to one of them, and 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 I'm okay now. Obviously, I th think other than the, the, this the stuttering thing, which I, I I didn't have before. So it was after you left the academy that they did, that they killed you. Yes, they found us and killed me. I mean, di I died me. Oh, it's quite what impressive. Is... Yes. And uh, 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 Ozzy lapses into a comfortable silence. Trigger, did you want to ask him about his uh, followers or uh, from from last session or two sessions ago? Oh, yes, Ozzy. Why? How did you be become so famous with those other guys? I mean, I think they kind of liked you a lot. <laughs> yes, that was rather strange. I don't know. The last time I spoke to any of the other Veska, I was just another soldier doing mercenary work, trying to trying to work my way up through the ranks. Uh, apparently, uh, I don't know. They must have uh, the story of what I did must have gotten out, and they must have taken a liking to it. I I, 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 hope someday that 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 I can be famous like you, because because that is all Yoshoki really want. Well, hopefully you get famous not like me. What I did was ultimately dishonorable. It doesn't sit well with me. I should not have killed the senior officer, even though he was issuing a, a poor order. There well, was better ways to handle that. Maybe it wasn't was an accident. <laughs> oh no! I quite intentionally killed him. Trust me. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Is, is is killing okay for you? Are are you okay with just killing for the heck of it? Uh, not usually. Um, I mean, killing on the field of battle is one thing. It's fine. Everybody understands that that's what may happen. Uh, but slaughter of innocents, uh, not my bag. Oh, okay. I, I don't like killing, but it seems like a lot of people have wanted to try to kill us. Oh, you know, let me give you some advice. If somebody's going to try to kill you, you kill them right back. Oh. Those are words to live by. <laughs> That's awesome, man. <clears throat> okay. You heard your money back, Adam. I, Thank I you. Have to, <laughs> I have to get some, some, some better weapons then. Let me know and I can help you with that. I'm a proficient in many different types of weaponry. Okay, we can talk about it another time. Sounds good. Think on it a little more. I will. Right. You, you, you usually go. Ghost is always killing everyone for me because he knows it's it's not something I like to do if I don't have to. I have to admit, the the little Yosoki is quite good at it. Oh, he 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 loves to kill things. It's it's kind of like a um a hobby. I think is what the word would be. 
he likes to do it just sometimes for fun and and sometimes i let him because it's kind of because otherwise he gets he, he he gets cranky if i don't let him kill things every once in a while oh uh, that's rather despicable i would like you to keep him from doing that around me if you can help it if things need to be killed that's fine but just for we, we might oh, have no, a problem no, no no not 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 just for sport he doesn't he doesn't kill things just for sport like there are lots of bad people in this world and and, and they're, they're always trying to kill us and and so um, especially from the 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 academy they all need to die as long as it's done honorably then it sits well with me oh no no he's a, he's very honorable i can't say that um but he's he's good at killing things that um would want to kill us good so to that, know we that, should also yeah. keep an eye out while we're here we should keep an eye out for things here that are trying to kill us as well i think there's going to be lots of things trying to kill us here i don't like this place at all why are we even here this is a crazy assignment. We should have sent the dead guy. He's already dead. <laughs> you make a good point. <laughs> anyway, you need to watch your sector, and I need to watch mine. We can't okay. get too distracted. Okay. Sector clear. Good job. Make sure it stays clear. <laughs> Roger, sector. All right, next up is uh, Ilisi in... Sivian, um, partway yeah, through their, ah. their watch, um, this, uh, this screech echoes through the, um, through the canopy. Are we sure? Kaukariki! And, uh, give me a little life science schedule. Oh, that's a good roll. You know, you know what this is. Um, everybody give me a... It's a meerkat. Perception check. DC twenty. Not you. Not the people who are awake. Oh. And you want to fail. If you if you don't fail, you wake up. And I'll, you can try to identify this as well. So you want to fail a DC twenty perception check to not wake up. This is the one check I'm going to make because I have zero perception. So somehow Bob sleep. Uh, no surprise. Go sleep through it. Twenty. I roll the sixteen twenty one. All right. So Nala wakes up. Nala, give me a life sciences check. The soldier sleeps through Trigger is sound asleep. 14. All right. So, Sivian, do you have life science as a skill? I do not. I don't believe. No. Okay. Uh, can I Can I do a... Hmm. I'm just trying to think of... like a, They don't have history, I guess, huh? That I might have come across this in uh, in the past. Oh, you know exactly what this thing is. Okay. You 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 and you and uh, and I, Lisi, both having spent time uh, on on the continent, know that I mean on on the, on the planet, know that the Kalkariki is a an animal named for its screechy Kalkariki noise. Um, they are super annoying. They are known as sting, and they uh, are loud, obnoxious. Kind of almost like a howler monkey. I'll spell it out for you in a minute, Bob. Um, you hear a couple, but you but you don't see any. It's dark, so um, they're really just annoying at this point. Okay. All right, your watch goes on. Okay. You gotta. I'm, I'm, I'm... So, so what okay. do you do? So, like you know, uh, you know, after the whole war thing, you know, I decided that you know hey i'm not going to carry eggs you know that's just not me i'm not designed to carry eggs well technically yeah i carry an egg but you know what i don't want to so you know i landed up here and i said hey what are you going to do and i'm like well i know a lot of stuff so start teaching because i love learning things and i just kind of ended up here and kind of bounced around it was a barista for a little while for some coffee you know i like to do a lot of things i don't like to get locked down just one thing you know that you know that's kind of what i do that's very really cool i think it's really cool that you decided that like laying eggs was your thing that's really that's really like cool like, I I just, don't want to be put in a box and say like you need to lay eggs that's just not what i want 
you know if i choose to i'm gonna do it right but nobody's gonna force me to lay eggs or host them you know <laughs> what a race <laughs> what's your deal like you know what's what you got going on oh. besides you know being here oh well yeah i'm here with all of these weirdos that want to kill me um but i'm not number one on the kill list anymore to you so that's cool uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, so I um, I don't really have a lot going on. I just graduated, so now I'm trying to like figure out what I wanted. Oopsie. Who watch it? Watch it, slippery rocks, man. <laughs> uh, both my parents were stewards, so I'm probably I want I want to go. Look at that a little bit, but now we're Starfinder, so that's not really going to work. So I don't really know. Well, you're an individual. I love that. So you make your own choice. Don't be stuck in some thing. You know, like when you're like in a hive and you got to do everything they want to do, it's like you don't want to do that. So do you. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, good job, guys. Everybody got five minutes. Um, the rest of the night passes, morning comes, you break camp. Uh, I'll need your survival check um, at individually. See, Bob, you said you're going to use your armor today. Uh, yeah, I want to be comfy. Why not? Let's activate okay. the uh, environmental, environmental controls on this puppy. Hold on a second. Let me let me explain what happens. If you fail the survival check, you will lose an RP, and you cannot regain it at resting in the jungle. Wait. So then, so if then, I only have five, only have five uh, resolve points. Uh, resolve points. Uh, and I don't know how many days it takes, but whenever I fail a survival check, I permanently lose it for the rest of the adventure until I can find a place not to rest in the jungle. Well, if you if you re if you use your to if you rested in your armor, then you'd be fine. You oh. Can oh, so it's actually, it's actually something, something I want to like, like save. very carefully and save. Oh, I, so this oh, is actually so this has is actually important. It's not just style. It's not just style. Right. Okay. Is that just comfort? Okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, then, in that case, I'm sweating it out, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm improvising because I don't like the rules. This works for me. I got a 16 for survival. 17. Right. You get a plus 2 on that as well? 18 for survival. Oh, 19. You will always get plus 2 on this first check. Okay. Nine. I was 16. <sighs> well, I'm, I'm very sorry to say I... I rolled a twenty-seven. No, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. <laughs> uh, I uh, I rolled a twenty-seven. Yeah. Yeah. You're so cute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, now, has everybody passed? It's a DC twelve. Oh. Oh, it went up. Wasn't it a ten before? Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Everybody passed DC twelve. Yeah. Yep. Looks like we were lucky. All right. Now give me a one more perception check. Um, Seven. And a perception, you said. Perception or survival, whatever you want. The, the, oh, okay, good. That's the wrong one. Twenty. Ozzy <laughs> whips. Ozzy whips. Who do you fit in the face? Ow! Oh, stop doing that. Okay, I am not your enemy. <laughs> Uh, 14 for a ghost. Oh, 21. Ooh. Still not good enough. No, actually, in this case, it is. Jeff, what'd you get? 20. 7. Mikey? I'm sorry, what are we rolling again? Either perception or survival. Whichever is greater. Perception. Uh, oh, wait, my perception's 10. Uh, 18. 18. So the two guys that got 20 or better, which would be the Vesk and Nala, mm -hmm. um, you both think you see signs that somebody's come through here in the past couple of days. There, it's hard, it's hard to see them, but there are definitely some, you know some trampled grass here or some markings here where somebody brushed up against something. Oh, um, I totally, I totally do the move of going over to an area, kneeling down, <laughs> grabbing some soil. <laughs> Rubbing it between my fingers, smelling it, <laughs> giving the nod. Yeah, yeah we got to taste it. Got to taste it. Yeah, I was thinking about to. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Animals have pooped there. Where are you eating poop? 
I feel like the another group, a big group, has been through here recently. We're on the right track. Oh. You saw that. Go ahead, Adam. Oh, have we lost Adam? His audio is out. Uh -huh. yeah, my headset cut out. What's that? Say again, Adam. You, we said you said have you or something like that. We didn't hear the whole thing. I said so. You saw that. You saw that one broken leaf as well. <laughs> ah, the tracks on the ground, the indentations here, the broken twig. Yep. Oh, huh? that is very good. I did not see any of this. <laughs> so, do you think I was looking is, at the sky? <laughs> is it the people who have Doctor Solestarni, or do you think it is a bunch of dinosaurs? <laughs> Uh, these look like uh, bipeds who came through here within the last uh, two or three days. Oh, okay. Probably less. Let's go kill them. No! no. Not all of them. Not all. Uh, um, not a big fan of killing. Um, Finally, uh, someone who gets it. You are not a big fan of killing? You know, there's enough of that in my life, and I was kind of like trying to steer clear of that get away from that you know so you chose to go to a jungle where you need antitoxins for poisonous creatures that can kill you well you know it's like choice you know i just just step through the portal here i am you know so wherever it takes me right so, so, okay. ghost 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 he's the kind of guy he's just pimping joy you you <laughs> Trigger, ever Trigger, since you, ever you, since you, you learned that you phrase, learned you that use phrase. it a lot. Do you know no, that? I, I like that phrase. It, 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 it's so funny. <laughs> He's pimping joy. He is pimping joy. I must agree I, with you. It, I will be sad when he is dead in about a day and a half. I won't be. It'll be pretty funny. What is I'll the countdown? What do you down. think? He's got about 47 hours joy. left. I think, I think we'll be pimping joy when that happens. <laughs> Right, let's go get the bad guys. Oh, wait, wait, doesn't he have that big sword we just gave him? He has a very nice sword. He does. I mean, I mean, they, they, they have a very nice sword. I wonder what, where, I wonder what's holding that sword up. Oh, what? Oh, oh, you are pimping you are shade. Pimping shade. You are pimping oh. so much shade. So much shade. <laughs> All right, your day passes uneventfully. Fantastic. It is stiflingly hot. Um, those with fur are even more would be, would be normally be more uncomfortable. However, they're kind of used. Um, this is wonderful weather. I feel like I'm in a sauna. I would expect the vest to be cold blooded and my, only mildly impacted. I have more energy than ever. <laughs> Ghost is getting I heard cranky. it's gonna get hot later. Ghost is uncomfortable and he's cranky and he's really short with everyone now. He's, uh, you know, he's what? not his normal carefree self. I was gonna say, how are we supposed to tell the difference? I mean, he's always short. Screw you, <laughs> lizard man. I don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't think the hot stuff is gonna come for a while now. <laughs> and toward uh, just just about an hour before you decide to make the camp, it rains, and it rains, and it rains. It's like rain. You guys are miserable as could be. You can find Trigger rolling around in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Leave the word you're looking for is chafing. But anyway. <laughs> Lisi is making sure to jump in every puddle possible. <laughs> I don't think insects chafe, but no, we're cool. <laughs> so you molt, I imagine. Trigger, yeah, tri tri Trigger is trying to trip Lisi into the puddle. He's running between her legs, trying to trip her. Playing with a bat, right? Hmm? Trigger's trying to trip you into a puddle. I, I see you're playing with a bat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, got... Trigger and I are having a blast. All I at least you can think about is, man, this would be so much more fun with the goblins here. <laughs> 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 all right. Oh, all Ozzy can think is, man, I'm glad we didn't bring the goblins. <laughs> 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 you uh, you set up camp for the night. You find a spot. You uh, you go through the same watches. Nothing happens. The, the Kaikarikis come back. So a couple different points. They, they they disturb everybody at some point. They are super annoying. Oh, like me? No, <laughs> way worse than you. 
Um, the rain eventually lets up. And uh, day three begins. Okay, uh, Josh, uh, the next time Ghost sees a uh, Kaya Leaky. You haven't seen one yet, you've only heard them. He I is don't like definitely that. going to target one and k try to kill it. <laughs> so, um, just for the record, I don't know if this is going to work if I don't break anything. Uh, oh. Okay, we get it. So that at night. Did you all hear that? That was awesome. Oh, yeah. That was great. Yeah, it, it sounds, sounds like, like uh, a howler monkey. Yes, that's actually what it is. I was gonna say it sounds like um, Congo. I know my monkeys. <laughs> Mike knows his own kind. Now are we in Jumanji? <laughs> exactly, dude. We're living Jumanji in real life, right? Now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, day two passes. Um, day three starts off. Right, everybody, give me your survival check. By the way, do we know where our destination is? Do, are we moving towards something? You're you're moving based on the what you what you where you assume um, Aqual and Solstani are going based on where he was looking for information he asked about hmm. and the information in the book and the information you've seen online and based on what um, Nala and Ozzy found yesterday. You blew right track. Okay. We don't know how long it's going to take to get to whatever destination we're trying to get to. He said what they were talking about was a, as a 10 to 12 day trip. Got it. Doctor. Okay. There is uh, there's no way that Trigger passed to survive. What Trigger roll? He rolled a total of nine. Oh. All right. So Trigger loses an RP. <laughs> Nobody else uses resolve, uses resolve points but me anyway. Um... I believe after the second day, uh, your body starts to acclimatize to the um, whatever situation you're, you're in. Getting so further from the coast, it's getting less comfortable. Greater bonuses, not worse bonuses. <laughs> just, I mean, it's just, it's just how physiology works. But what do I have to roll instead? I'm <laughs> <laughs> leaving at a twelve for the day. Uh, having a science teacher on your. <laughs> He's a chemistry teacher. What does he know about biology? He could be making this shit up. You're, you're moving further away from the coast. It's getting hotter. <laughs> Did we cross the mountains yet? Dude, you're, you're, you're going to finish at the mountains. Oh. We, we oh should have just stayed along the coast then. <clears throat> we should have cogged the coast first. <laughs> we failed our survival got, to make that. Decision. We should have gotten on a boat and got went to La Chicolou. <laughs> no, it's actually straight inland. Straight south-southwest. South-west-southwest. South Actually, toward the word singing in the range. Got it. Oh, okay. So, you do, you, singing if you're in not the trying range. to do a singing in the range, you're not going to follow up on that. We're just going to leave it out there just to singing in well, the no. range. Okay, if you look at the map, the map is singing range. The joke was the singing in the range. Okay. Uh, I rolled a six, so what do I lose? A uh, resolve point? Yes. Anybody who rolled a tw uh, less than 12 loses a resolve point. But you and what do resolve points do? Because I don't use them. So when you're when you're dying, Mike, uh, you can spend uh, twenty five percent of your total resolve points to stabilize yourself and get back health, get back to one hit point. I think. So or you can use a resolve point to recharge your hit points after having a rest. No, your stamina, not your hit points. Yeah, stamina. And all your stamina come back in a ten minute rest. That's pretty. Yes. Yeah, so I use them frequently after combat. Nobody else does. I'm yeah. still going to target trigger now. <laughs> it's not his fault. And just to confirm, the way this is working tonight, when we go to sleep, if Trevor wants to use uh, eight hours from his suit, from his armor, uh, then that would give him a full night's sleep in air conditioning conditions, and he could get his resolve back. Yep, Cor correct. Okay. Trigger, what level is your armor? Level three. So you have three charges for that, based on the <laughs> based on the adventure work. So you can do that three times. You may want to wait another day or two. To make sure. Yep, I can do that. That's a good idea. Thank you. We, have, we have no idea how long this is supposed to take us. I said ten to twelve days based on what Doctor Faith. Uh, oh Christ, that's a rolling. We need to, to get be, there. be careful not to use these too soon. Then <laughs> I I so to get there, but you know, coming back to hand. Uh, I totally. <laughs> that's exactly what I was gonna say, Josh. It's gonna take us six days to get out there and one day to get back, so it'll be fine. <laughs> that's like every <laughs> Bethesda, Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind game. <laughs> 
<laughs> Once you get to somewhere, you can fast travel anywhere anywhere you've already been. Or no, it's more like you, no, you travel through the dungeon, a labyrinth, to the lowest level, you kill the boss, and then in the lair, there's a secret entrance that takes you back out to the forest. So you don't have to go Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or it's like Zelda, where just the screen goes black, and then you're walking out the front. Yes. Oh, so it's really good so that you really brought your good. extra suit of armor. In a worst-case scenario, we could put somebody in there. <laughs> That's true. They don't have to move in it. <laughs> and I've got a second got skin, a which will give us one more charge. So. Okay. All right. Uh, Jeff, did you ever upgrade your armor? I did not. So you have level one armor? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I have a second skin. All right. Wow. I don't That's know how good I am, is that my party doesn't ever need to level up their armor. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> that's a great point, man. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nah, I got an idea. If I give you my second skin, I mean, my, yeah, well, you have, um, um, it, can you wear two? Uh, cuddling does not count for this. Wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be a third skin then? <laughs> that's what you're getting for. <laughs> you don't want to force hey, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hold on, if we give you both no gonna... second skin, then you have four skin. Are you I sure it's not a fourth skin? Him my fourth skin. Oh, I right am not there. giving him my fourth skin. Two squared is the fourth skin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Don't want to wear that. No. Oh, it's gone downhill. That is ridiculous. Sorry, Jules. That's what your whole there, job used to be, wasn't it? <laughs> wasn't your job saving that or something? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's on a chain. <laughs> Very small. It's there. All right, so uh, day three begins. You made your survival checks. Um. I need to see um, a survival or perception check to see. Survival or perception. No, that's not with the plus, right? Looking at a 15 for ghost. Whoa. 16 for perception. 22. Ozzy, nice. God dang it. One with 10. Plus. Wasting all my good rolls. 21 for perception. Uh, you don't get the plus two for the book, though, for this one. That's right. I subtracted two from mine. Oh, yeah. 22. Um, Ozzy finds some some record of their of tra of their traversal ahead of you. Um, Trigger finds a little bit. He's not. It's kind of like might be. It might be an animal, but it's a big footprint for an animal that looks like it might be a biped. So, you know, not being familiar with the area, you're not sure if it's a creature that you recognize or not, or if it's a human. Yeah. Human. Would a life science life uh, roll help us figure out the source of that giant footprint or the large footprint? Ozzy confirmed already that it was. Okay. It was something that you had. It was probably them. So I'm waiting for Jules to come back. One second. She's washing her hands. That's good. Safety okay. first. Yeah. As we all should. C -c -c Corona. Um, what about me washing my hands? No. All right. So you, you come across a, a... Where's my notes? I don't know, but my notes are... So you, you, you come across a valley that would take days to go around. The grass is tall, ranging from three to eight feet high. Well, that's taller than the rats. A herd Thirty-eight of... feet high. Reed... <laughs> <laughs> a herd of gargantuan creatures is grazing in the area. Everybody, give me, everybody has life science. Give me a check to see if they can identify it. Twenty-nine. Less than twenty-nine. <laughs> What'd you get, Jeff? Uh, eleven. Okay. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Anybody else? Uh, seventeen. All right, so uh, only I, at least, you recognize. Hey, let me reveal what they look like. <laughs> and now th this is 100% where I was going to play the um, theme for Jurassic Park. Absolutely. <gasps> so there's a herd of these grazing over across this valley. It's going to take you up. Oh. Hours to cross. Oh my god, that is god. awesome! Look at that thing. Can we, can we read it? I think we have our writers right there. <laughs> this no, six be right. It's too big to ride, Jeff. That's what. She, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter. Hey. Um, me up. So, Ilisi is able to identify these as Yarux, Y-A-R-U-K. Um, what is your role, Jules? 29. To ride. Oh. After 29, you get the whole sheet on the Yarux. 29. If I can find it back here. 
Oh wait, is that thing that you were sending me earlier? Whoa. This is lots of information. Yeah, read it quick. Oh, okay. So you guys start to, uh, I mean, you can, it's going to take you at least two days to go around this, probably longer, or you can probably just try to go through pretty quietly and, uh, you know, avoid the bigger groups and do your best to get through without disturbing them. They are herbivores, so they're not going to eat us. They only they'll trip. Eat, yes, no, they'll just stomp us flat. They only eat people named Earth. <laughs> Do we, do we have to go over those big brown mountains? You're trying to get to the big brown mountains, really. Well, like big brown mountains that are soft and stinky that are all over the place. We don't climb those. <laughs> Sivian, I thought you were our guide. You know what those mountains are, no? <laughs> of course I do. I was just seeing if you did, man. He was, he was your guide in Cabaret. He kind of just tagged along for this. I was going to say, what's he doing with us here now? <laughs> I'm just coming along to see what you got here up there. That's all. Uh, so, I... okay, so this is actually helpful. So, um, the Yaks, um, when they migrate, they, they trample, obviously, because they're really big. So, there are a lot of, like, pathways that they've made because they don't travel so there's lots of pathways that are from the Yerricks that might make it easier for us to go through the valley if we can find one of these pathways. They're, they're, they're milling there, the There's one right there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, there's paths everywhere to go. The question is, are you guys going to try to... It, it's not going to take a huge stealth roll. I mean, they're they're big. Slow. Yeah, they're also really stupid. I think they're, they're stupider than Ozzy. Thank you. I was waiting for that. <laughs> But I'm bump. So. Oh, you, they have a lot of hit points. Yeah, these are not things you can fight. We don't want to fight these. So. Ooh, uh, what if we can? What if we can distract one of them? Get it off. The, the six of us can kill one at a time. Imagine how fast we can level up. Yeah. How much XP are they worth? Oh my god. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, go find a hurt one or a slow one or. <laughs> Is this like the buffalo? The slow buffalo. How cool we better this? Uh... You can poison it. <laughs> There's like thirty or forty of them. Yeah, that's a lot of XP. <laughs> well, There's I think Jules just leveled up her uh, tabletop gaming. <laughs> <laughs> and is we it a... eight hundred each every time we killed one? Wow. So. Uh, is is this a, just a big open grassland? What if we yes. skirt around them by like, I mean, what is there to the left and to the right? Yeah, how tall? It, it's, it's kind of a, a, a valley. It wouldn't be easy to go around. You're gonna have to either sneak through there or sacrifice a couple days. Can we just like shoot a gun in the air and let them trample away? Or they could trample you. Oh, <laughs> that's a chance I'm willing to take, man. How tall are they? Well, you get trampled all the time. They're gargantuan, uh, whatever that means. For Uncle Jim. Gargantuan? So, I can I... You think I could probably use my disguise kit to disguise your, myself as one on top of Ozzy's shoulders? You your wouldn't fame, your nose and mustache won't do, man. Then you guys can oh. fill, fill out the body, and we could be like one. It's like the kids in the trench coats. Oh, this is perfect. So, guys, Gargantuan is between 32 to 64 feet, between 16 to 125 tons. They take up a 20-foot square. Uh, they, have a, they have a reach of 20 feet and a natural reach uh, long of 15 feet. Uh, the 20-foot is the tall is reach, the... and the 15 feet is the horizontal length reach. They're big. Yeah, we don't want to fight this. That's the sneaking throw. Must be sneaky now. Must we could also probably stay away from them pretty easily then as well. Mm. You mean go? I mean, there's a lot of them in the area, but <clears throat> stake a path through. That's kind of the point. I say we go through stealthily. All right. We do have to make up time on the other party. All right. So you're going through. Yes. All right. Wait, um, Jeff, did you check the roll twenty chat? Hmm. 
I want. I want. I was thinking about like uh, if we could see a pathway that the other group went through, maybe, or if we could even see them in the distance. If this is a two day. Chat in there, not, not let me see it, Bob. Huh? Do you chat in the roll twenty chat and not let me see it. No, I can't see it either. Oh. Or, or oh, somebody just thing and then. I asked Jeff if he had the ability to do a ghost sound. Oh. I I can. Well, both of us don't we both have that? So I have it why. as a cantrip. I don't think it's a a racial ability. But yeah, I can do ghost sounds. Yes, you can. Go can? ahead. Let Go us ahead. hear you. Let us hear you. <laughs> I want to kill things. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That is not bad. That, that is good. actually pretty. I was hoping good. for that. <laughs> All right, you sneaky through? Yeah, we're sneaky yeah, through. through. All right. I um, could cast a ghost sound. <coughs> it's minor illusory. Hmm. Uh, whoever has the best. Everybody give me a stealth or survival check. Not going to be good enough. DC 10. Oh, no. Then Do we get a plus two on this one? No. 23. I, I also got a 23. I got a 12. Uh, guys, I rolled a natural 3. Oh, so you only got like a 19. Wait, so with your pluses, that's what? 92? 20. 20? <laughs> 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 I was say, there's nobody more you know, stealth than stealth? Or, uh... I have a plus 17 stealth. That's right. That's ridiculous. Uh, operatives are basically stealth. <laughs> Don't know if they're doing... Uh... Which one are we rolling? Stealth? Stealth, Stealth or survival. Or survival oh, okay, good. Better. Good. Survival's much better. All right. So you guys make it about uh, halfway through the uh, the valley. You're feeling pretty good. When a gunshot rings out. I don't know if you heard that or not. Oh, that's what that sound nope. is. Let me try it again. Oh, oh. a little echoing. He hits one of the Yurks near you in the and we're in a unique kind of combat. Oh, boy. So at the beginning of every turn, I will roll a D8 effect. It may target certain individuals. It may not. You have to make a, a series of successes to escape the, the stampede. Oh, my God. Not sure if you can hear that. I can. Like grumbling, rumbling. <laughs> Sounds like somebody sipping hot tea. Getting Lion King flashbacks. Stampede of animals. Mm. Didn't quite. I don't want to be like Mufasa. Way. So if you guys go into into journal, so you have the chat window, then you have image art library, and then you have journal. Okay. At the bottom, you should see a handout called the Eric Encounter. We do. That's Click it. that. You can you can expand that window so you, you should be able to fill your screen and see all the text on one page. Wait, where is that, Josh? We're doing jukebox? Journal. Oh, uh, yes, Jeff. No, just chat. <laughs> so, Mikey, it's to the right of the chat icon. Oh, and we'll I'm good. I got, I got it, Bob. Thank okay. you. So you guys can do any of those activities. Um, some earn a success. Some just earn safety. Um, take a minute to read them. Um, They're pretty long. <laughs> it's going to take you like 30 it's really seconds. really not Jeff. that long. Do we have a person read one? So that if anybody's listening, they hear it. If you want to read them out loud, that's fine. If you if you try to do the same one over and over again, it will become mine. The DC will get too harder every time so until you fail and I'll reset. So you can, if I use two, then the DC is minus two for both. No, uh, well, no. If, if say you use scramble, yep. okay, and then you try in DC is eighteen. Then you use scrambled next round, the oh. DC becomes 20. Okay. And then so you can't use the same one every time is what you're saying. I'm trying to discourage you from using the same one every time. Yeah. Oh, that's is, a you rule. This is supposed to be a cinematic kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Feel I want you to describe, you know, I hurdle over a, a fallen stump and roll underneath it while one tramples over the top of me and doesn't crush me. Can I, I, I feel free oh, sorry. to embellish on, on, on your what you're doing. 
Uh, and can we do multiple actions in the same round, or no? If you do a multiple action, is a cumulative minus, minus three penalty for every attempt. Minus mm -hmm. three. So just to confirm, just if to I keep... try to do a distract and a hide, and a... then they both take a minus three. If your, I your roll three. takes a minus three in both cases. Got it. And if I did a distract, yeah, a distract. hide, and a navigate, then it would be a minus six for all three. Yes. So I have to announce so in advance announce. if I want to try multiple actions so I know what penalty to apply to all of them. Yes. Kind of like what we used to like, do in Savage Worlds. Okay. Sorry, yes. Hmm. Yes, they, 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 the negative stack. So. Okay. Uh, and there's, there's a certain number of successes where you would, you would get through this. It is not a straight up encounter. You're not supposed to. You're not. It's not designed to fight them. But all that XP. <laughs> you do get XP for getting out of this. So we just got to survive it <laughs> when we get some XP. I'll take it. So, so the shot rings out, and actually, everybody, give me a quick um, perception check. Yes. Fifteen. So how many successes do we have to get to yeah, win? Eighteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Okay, the eight, 18 and 21 both um, have a vague idea of the direction from which the shot rang out, but they can't see anything more specific than that. It's far. It's not like you're going to chase this person down. This person was, was seeing you with a scope and specifically triggered this incident. Oh, wow. As a negative to you. Did anybody do better than 22? I'll take that as a All right. First round. The uh, uh, several years converge on a randomly determined PC. Roll well, two more times on the table, ignoring results of five or higher. First result affects only that PC. Second result would affect one or more randomly selected because that PC is automatically one of the targets. So, a shower of splinters. A year crashes through the branches. Fragments of wood raining down and dealing 2d6 piercing damage to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, that's so confusing. 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, Ozzy, shower of splinters <laughs> falls on you, dealing 2d6 piercing. Uh, there's a reflex save for half. It's 4 damage, 2 for half. I'm glad I got this new armor to help with uh, things like this. <clears throat> <laughs> You'll get to use your fancy armor later. <laughs> Very flex. Yeah, nope, I took all four. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, I can't get over there. What did you roll? Eight? Eight. Oh, dude, the DC was 14. <laughs> Maybe I can roll it again four, if you want. <laughs> do four damage and then the second event. There's a lot of rolling uh, around there. Uh, yeah, I, it is, uh, I have a roll, but it said ignore rolls five or higher for this mm. event, and I rolled like an, an eight, seven, seven. <laughs> um, I just roll a d10 and divide by two. Or roll a d4 if it's five or high. It just makes no damn sense. <laughs> so, the, uh, uh, Yarek, in response to the shot, turns in your general direction and, and lets out a sonic bellow that, that impacts um, Trigger, you, and uh, uh, Sylvan. And give me a fortitude check. Got another. A fortitude check, you said? Check. Nineteen. All right, you take two damage, Mikey. Ozzy. Uh, sorry, what? I'm. They just realized that the upgrade didn't work. Oh, I'm sorry. So um, what? Just walk me through. What do I need to do? Four to two check. <laughs> Chris, you take two damage as well. Got it. Are those three people? Twenty-one. Okay, you take two damage as well. It was sonic damage, if it makes. 
All right, now it is your turn. It is your turn. I'm just going to go as they're in roll 20 to me. So, um, Ghost. Uh, well, he is not happy being a tiny thing with such a large thing. He's worried about getting scrunched. So I think he's going to try uh, maybe two items. Two items. He will do a, uh, a sneak. He's going to try to hide. Hide. And then he's okay, also so going to squeeze. Okay, so a hide does not earn the species any success. And it, so that doesn't give you much. It, it may be worth just squeezing. Uh, however, doesn't it give me a uh, bonus to armor class and saves against future actions from them? Yeah, but none of the DCs are particularly high, and you have insane bonuses, so you may want to take that into account. Okay. All right. It's up to you. Will... It's up to you what you want to do. I'm sorry. Which DCs are not high? The 17, the 18, the 20, or the 19 aren't high? The, the, the success ones are not are, are relatively high. The reduced damage ones are less. They're like DC. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, then I I think I'm going to uh, squeeze. He, uh, All right. he sees a couple of fallen trees that were smashed when the Yaruks destroyed it destroyed. and sent splinters flying into Ozzy. And he, uh, he attempts to slip through between the two of them. Which is a DC nineteen acrobatics. Yep. And he dives for Dive. it. For it. And he gets a twenty-two. Two. And a Yura runs right over him with no impact to you. Congratulations, your first success as a group. Um, figure it out. You know what you're gonna do? Uh, uh, yes. Move right across. The Pretty good. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on a second. One second, Mikey. Okay. For me, guys, the way this looks on the my, I have Bob, Mikey, Jeff, Adam, Jules, Chris. That's the order I'm going to go in so I keep my sanity. Hmm. I hope that it's the same order for everybody else. It is for me. It is for That's me. the same order I see on the screen. I think it's the order which everybody joined. So actually, so maybe actually, this is a good thing to bring up. In the future, whenever we announce roles, let's announce them in that order as well, and then we'll never talk over each other again. So, yes. So, okay, Mikey, what's your, what's your plan here? Um, my plan was to attempt a scramble. Okay. Uh, to get into some sort of cover. Okay. And scramble. Well, you have to describe you it. Have to describe it. Uh, so, okay, so trigger um, is attempting to... Uh, scramble through the grass uh, uh, to hide under either some boulders or a tree, anything that he can find that will give him some cover. So he is, I mean, for lack of a better term, scurrying like a rat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so that was athletics, right? Yes. Scramble five buttons. Uh, twenty-two. But you know it's a success. You see the DCs there. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry. So okay. Okay, so I'm good. So I managed to find some cover and scramble under it or behind. It. Yep, you made another success. Gala. Uh, I think so. Bob, what did you do? You did. You can do the same thing he did. Squeeze. He just can't do it a second time without the minus two. So uh, what if he fails? Is it still a minus? There, there's no penalty for failure. It just prolongs the event. So some of your charisma-based options, like spook or distract, look up your alley. Now. That, that's what I, those are the two that I was going to uh, look for. I think I'll try the distract. Okay. Um, no, that does, that does not <coughs> add a success. Oh. I see. So spook would give you a success, but it's a high. I think I'm going to try to spook him. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. So I'm going to try a. I'm going to try to shoot one, uh, right at its feet to try to get it. Uh, and, and there's a group of them, and I'm trying to sh shoot one of the farther ones. 
to have them kind of run in that opposite direction and draw the other ones away. Look over here. Look over here. <laughs> All right. I'm going to find my character sheet for shooting. <laughs> How does this shooting thing work? I can't believe he's still in his level one. Uh, I got 17. Plus. And I need it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. And I need a 20. All right, so you're, 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 you miss your shot. Goes wide, ricochets off a rock. Doesn't hit anybody, doesn't do anything to anybody. So, um, Ozzy. Wait, wait. Uh, have one that shot. Was just, he was shooting to see if he got the plus two circumstance bonus. <laughs> That means that he didn't get the bonus, but he still rolls the spook check, right? Okay, yes. You're right. <laughs> Alright, nice. Now, so I intimidate 20? Yes. Thank you, Bob. I missed right. Oh, no worries. Oh, no worries. I rolled a natural 3. <laughs> you know what? I'm Benny in this one. Oh, <gasps> wow. That, mean, that allows me to re-roll it? Yep. I rolled a nine plus my nine intimidate is eighteen. Oh. <laughs> if you had hit him with the gun, that would have been a success. Yep. What 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 weapon did you shoot, Jeff? Just your azimuth laser pistol? Yeah. Okay. So deduct the charge. Yep. Oh, this is yeah. Like you're keeping track of that. <laughs> keeping track of charges, track guys. Of char Ozzy, you're up. Uh, Ozzy sees a big pile of poo rocks. Hang on. No, that's just ghosts. Okay. So if, by the way, if you guys come up with something original that's not on here and I like it, I'm more than happy to entertain. <laughs> when do you ever like when we come up with stuff? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Like in our character backgrounds. <laughs> more than happy to entertain other options. I'm running to the bathroom. And if it's my, super good, I'll give you two successes. My to background, Bailey. Woo, he was there. Huh. Oh, Lola, we gotta get thinking. Two successes. Okay, so uh, I don't understand how that spook works. But while while okay. running away from the, the herd... Adam, here's how spook works. You yeah. shoot him. If you hit, you gain plus two to the intimidate check. What is the intimidate check? I don't understand. So, so the intimidate check is what actually gives you the success. So there's a DC 20 intimidate check. You, you, you first. Oh, okay. I, I missed it too. Bob explained. Bob, I helped Bob kind of help me with it. So if you hit, you get plus two to that intimidate check. If you hit and deal 10 damage, or you get plus four to that intimidate check. Gotcha. Okay, then I'm going to come back to that one. I'm going to go with scramble. Um, so while they're running, I, as you notice, there, there's a um, uh, a ravine running partway through the field that's about 10 feet across, and uh, Ozzy doesn't have time to go around it, but he's going to leap across and, and hope that uh, it keeps him from getting trampled. Cool. So acrobatics. With my new armor, I get an Scrambles. 11 on that instead of a 10. Scrambles athletics. That's what I meant to say. Athletics. Oh, yeah. I think Ozzy flew across. Oh, my gosh. He, he, he did like a, a, a double backflip with a half gainer. Wow. <laughs> All right. Another success for the group. Impressive. I just want to interrupt the game to say that this is the other cat. Oh, that one I love. This. Um. <laughs> oh. All right. That cat yeah. hardly ever comes out anymore, Chris. Ever you. since you stopped going up, it stops showing up. Aww. She's been coming out a lot since we've been locked up at home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alicia, what are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna... Um... There's seven choices. I know that. That's my guy. I am going to... Um... I'm going to... Try to spook, I guess. Mm. Or squeeze. You've had ten minutes. I just gave you a look. Yeah, before. I'm gonna. Give me a description. Oh. <laughs> can I squeeze between ghost and something? No, but you can squeeze between like uh, like two big trees that are close to each. 
There are two big trees. They are close to each other. I am bad at this. Okay, I'm squeezing. Eight. I only see does not successfully squeeze. Creature keeps chasing her around. Oh boy. Uh, She's crying hysterically. Sivian. Sivian uh, looks out into the distance and you notice uh, there are eyes and a lid comes up and it's opaque. Reach out with his hands, you see his antennas vibrate. <coughs> In his mind, he sees every step he needs to take, every rock he jumps over, every move before it even happens. He's trying to navigate the way through the turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nat natu natural one. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. You you, 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 you actually had the exact opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And should have opened her eyes. Wow. All right. Uh, everybody's gone once, so now the uh, the arrows go again. They're coming back. Watch out. Now a year comes up next to you and actually bumps into you, Ooh. buffeting you with its body. Um, it has an attack bonus plus 13. 20 tons running into you. So it's a 25 versus KAC? Uh, that's a hit. That's right. pretty kinetic. Wait, wait, uh, yeah, 25 level... would hit my new KAC. Are you yeah. level 1? It's second skin. Just double check. You sure? Okay. 14? <laughs> <laughs> 11 budgeting damage. Wow. The, the year just runs up right next to the knowledge. Smashes. Crushing her, knocking her off her feet. She rolls over into a ball. And it's ghost turn. Slowly gets up and runs in the opposite direction. Probably doesn't even, the creature doesn't even realize that you were there. You're probably like just a, a net for a mosquito to her. Interesting. Uh, I think I will try to. Which one gives us a success? Blunt or intimidate? I think maybe I'm not very not strong in it, but I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll go for a distraction. As the creature uh, bashes into Nala, uh, Ghost will uh, ch like turn his holographic emitter off and on, off and on. And say, "Hey, activated yeah, ability. What's that? I'm gonna. Go, I'll call that activated ability. I'll give. You... Okay, it's gonna. Okay, it's it's just gonna, go for the distract. For but thank you. Thank you. Um, no, I, that, to me, that's activated ability. You turn your thing on. There's three of you. Um, immediate success. Okay. Uh, I don't have to roll anything. Nope. Woo! -hoo. He turns it off mm -hmm. and on, and says, "Hey, over here, hey, you over big here, dinosaur." Yeah. Uh, when did he suddenly become Scottish? I don't know, it just leads in. <laughs> it just happened that way. Yeah. Use your spell. Okay, go ahead, uh, Trigger. Um, so Trigger is... Hi. Um, trigger is going to attempt to navigate to get out of that area. And right. get... Back closer to where the group is. Or maybe Sounds good. You're leading us to safety. Yes, or lead the group to safety. <laughs> That's better. Follow me, simpletons. No, sorry. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would Arnold say here? Come yeah, on. What would Arnold say? All right, so navigate it's Arnold. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> oh. Okay, I got that one. Come on. Okay, you know, now I, oh, I, I awesome. Eighteen. Oh. I'm eighteen. So Trigger successfully navigates through through some uh some of the uh the area around some trees, some rocks, loses the one that's behind him, calls some of the other groups to him for another success. That is your fifth success. Well. Follow Trigger if you Trigger, want to leave. Want to leave. <laughs> Nala. Uh I think we're gonna try to play it safe. Now you said like uh, it's the minus or the plus two onto the uh, difficulty. That's on a success or just on an attempt. What do you want to do? What did you do last time? What do you want to do? 
I shot at him. I didn't really like that one, but it's but it gives me a, the best chance. So you so the intimidate DC becomes twenty two. Even if it's just an attempt, even if you didn't succeed the first time, if you try that same Correct. action again, you're still going to get a plus two, Jeff. Uh, I see one of those big trees that uh, Jules try to scramble between, I think, squeeze through, and I go and hide at the base of one of them. <laughs> in, in the uh, podcast I was listening to, they kept hiding, not realizing that it didn't give them a success. <laughs> Wait, uh, Jeff, you, you probably are good with bluff and intimidate. What about a distract? Those don't give us successes either. Oh, you're right. Sorry, sorry. The handout worked really well. This is so confusing. Really? You have seven right options? Of you. Hey, hey, okay, it's... Oh, that we good. have seven options, but um, how many of them actually do any? Five. The last sentence of every option. Yeah. And it says whether you earn a success for four, four of them. That's four guaranteed. The top one. If you give me something good, I'll be happy to use it. All right, I'm gonna run off into some high grass and start shouting. And I'm gonna <laughs> try to distract the uh, the group because I have a plus twelve bluff. So <laughs> and I need fourteen. Hey, so wait, wait, Jeff. Why don't you try two things? You can hide and distract. The minus three to both. That's not so bad on your distract, right? I can I can do the distraction and then rush up to the tree and try to hide behind it. Is that all right, Joshy? Whatever you want. It's minus three on both, but neither of them gives you the success. So, so why would I do it then? I don't know. <laughs> all right, I, I'll just stick with the distraction, and I got twenty four on the uh, uh, check. All right, so you you're able to distract the uh, the Eric. Uh, so you take a minus two penalty to the eight. It saves against all effects in the Yarrick actions table during the next phase. And the other PCs receive a plus two circumstance bonus to AC uh, and saves oh. against those effects during that time. What? You're welcome. What? what? Uh. Somebody did not read that well. <laughs> Although I do like the, I, I do think the handout is see everything that I see. So, all right. Uh, up next is Ozzy. Um, oh, you got to shoot it now, man. You got to spook it, right? I was going to say, Ozzy Ozzie, uh, thinks he knows where Nala went wrong. Um, not Nala. I, at least he went wrong. And uh, he's going to take out his big um, azimuth cannon oh, yeah. and uh, try and shoot it in the face and get, really get it. He knows it's not really going to hurt him, though. All right. Your attack roll. Give him hell. <clears throat> See it, Ozzy. Do no joy. What's the DC on this? <laughs> no, you're you're rolling. You be here, attack roll first. Is it a KAC? Well, yeah, I know, but well, I'm sorry. What's the? It's KAC twenty two, EAC twenty. Shit, I'm not gonna make this. <laughs> I'm positive. Well, I'm rolling with a plus five. So, it'll be a slaughter. <laughs> no, our slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Jules doesn't know what we're talking about that one. Oh, oh, that was thirteen. Close. All right, so your DC is 20. All right, so I have to roll my intimidate. Hey, that's also a 5. Awesome. Yeah, whatever. Ah. I was, right. Can I just, like, keep running? Because I have no fucking skills. Wait, you got a Benny, right? <laughs> like, this, this sucks. This is really shitty. Do you want to use a Benny? To do what? Just to re -roll your oh, you, used your, you used your scramble last turn. Yes. Yes, that was the one thing I could do. So you can do that again next turn now. You just can't do it in a row. Okay. Just attack him. Come on. I'm not, I'm not a total jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Jules. Um, as part of spook, can I spook with a spell or do I have to spook with a shot? That would be activated an ability. If you, can, if you use an ability, I'm, I'm happy to entertain that. As a, what are you going to do? One of myself. What are you gonna do? Overheat. What's that gonna do? Cone of fire. Okay. <laughs> you could just minor illusion and be a lot easier. Yeah, but cooler. I thought you wanted do? story elements. Then, then, then tell me the story. I'm giving story. At least he steps out from behind the tree, making sure not to kick Nala in the face. That's very <laughs> 
<laughs> and now the Trabazi. Oh, he's over there too? That's a popular tree. Oh, steps out from behind the tree and looks directly at the Yarrick that's closest to her and says... The onrushing Yarrick. Oh, there's one running at us? They're running all over. And, and she puts her hand up, kind of like Ellen Stranger Things, feeling those vibes. And she shoots fire. It's a cone of fire damage. 2d8 fire damage. Is, is that it? What level spell? What? Wait, what level spell is that? What? I, I'm going to let you have that. I'm going to consider that an activated ability, no check necessary. And you guys get a success for that. Woohoo! Nice. I didn't even have to roll anything. Six time. successes. Sivian, you're up. Any That'll chance you're going to tell us how many we need now? No. Sivian looks around as the chaos happens. He's got the uh, Yurix running and shooting into trees and boulders that are uh, tripping and falling. He makes a bad dash between two trees that are falling in head first, hoping to squeeze through. And he does not. He does not. All right. There's no God, I got, You know what? Suck it next time. I'm going to go ahead and just say, break it. I'm just going to die or something. <laughs> All right. The Eric's go. Eight. Um, so no one is impacted. The Eric's have become wild. During this phase, each PC takes a minus four. Same action he used during the previous phase. But otherwise, there is no Yarrick activity. Oh, so we get a, it's a minus four now, whatever we used? It's a minus four instead of the minus two, if you use gotcha. the same one. Oh, gotcha. okay. okay. But you can use... Okay, so if you use Navigate in the first turn, and then Scramble, you can use Navigate with now. Mm -hmm. gotcha. You're just going to do the same one repetitively. Yep, yep, good, good. All right. Um, are you guys enjoying this encounter? I'm just curious. Yeah, it's fun. It's interesting. It's different. I'm just curious. I, mean, I know Adam's frustrated with it a little bit. Um, I'm also frustrated with our crappy application at work, too. Ah. So is, there may be some bleed over there. <laughs> some. <laughs> I mean, it could be the encounter as well. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's just I can't, I can't say clearly. I'm not objective. Go ahead, Ghost. You're up. Uh, Ghost sees two Yariks approaching him at the same time. It looks like it's not going to be good gonna... for Ghost. They're both just stomping just... towards him. This could be the end of Ghost. The only thing that will be left is a Ghost pancake. But at the last minute, as they minute. crush towards him, a small space opens up between the legs of one of them. Seeing his opportunity to live, he attempts to yes. dive through. Uh, so that it's a squeeze, and it's acrobatics. Yeah, Joel's got a blanket. And it's a 26. Yeah. 26. He manages so to ghost... dive through. Dive through. So the rat successfully slides right through two trees. Yerk smashes into them <laughs> and wanders off in a different direction. That's another success. Sure, well, that is your seventh success. For the for the record, as as design of the adventure, it is um, twelve. It is three successes for every team, every member of the party. We are not going to wait for eighteen. Oof. <laughs> so I will decide when to call it but we're not going to go anywhere go ahead trigger uh, okay um, trigger is it, it, so where is the party in relation follow him by any chance or yeah you navigated last round so we're following you okay if you want <laughs> hey, no, no, no. That, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I don't think I am trained. Um, nope. Uh, I could attempt to. Oh, shizbutt. I. I would like to try to spook them by using a grenade. You're going to use okay. a grenade? Wow. <sighs> I 
here is to make it veer off course. Obviously, I'm not trying to um, do any real damage to it. But All right, if you're, you're, you're going to use a grenade, I'm going to consider that an active ability. Okay. All right, that is eight successes. Nala, you're up. That's a big sacrifice of equipment. Nice work. Nice work. When, when, you, when you're willing to sacrifice something for the, for the counter, I'm going to penalize you for it. Now, if somebody else tried to use a grenade, it'd be a different story. Second grenade. But go ahead, Nala's up. All right, I'm looking for my best option that I can actually get a success with versus just a, uh, a nothing bad. Survival I stink at, athletics I'm not good at, acrobatics I'm not good not, uh, particularly I'm having the at. same problem. My max bonus is a plus two. What about your abilities, Nala? You got an ability in there? Ghost sound? Something like that? No. <laughs> uh, I could uh, daze, but that's only for intelligent, uh, low uh, character uh, level. OCR. Challenge this is where an Envoy shines, right? I mean, this. Diplomacy? That's a big one for me. Um... <laughs> Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> <laughs> Lay out the options that they have uh, that we can do or not do. Um, <laughs> you could take the negative, take four, the negative four, four and repeat what you did last round. I see. I see a couple rocks that I'm going to try to squeeze through. Uh, that I see up ahead, and I'll acrobatically try to dive through those. And. 23. Woo! Oh my gosh, you oh made, gosh, it. made it. You made it. Much to Nala's surprise, she squeezes between two close fitting boulders and loses the air in the process. Nine successes. Woo! Ozzy, you're up. It's a lot of Yerks we gotta hide from. Jeez. The distance. <coughs> across a valley. Um, shouldn't it be a tidal plane? But at any rate. Um, <laughs> so after leaping the ravine, uh, Ozzy sees a a very steep mound, and because he's got an intelligence of eight rather than go around it, he's going to try and climb over it to get to the other side. Is that and he's going to scramble up that mound? Scramble, yeah, okay. I got to pull that window up. There it is. Twenty-five success. Ooh. As he scrapes over the big mound, the, the Eric using his claws, he was able to dig in and, and make it up for the tenth success. At least he. I'm gonna spook. You gonna spook? I'm gonna spook. Okay. You gotta shoot, or you're gonna use a spell. Use your cantrip if you don't waste anything, really. Yeah, I don't want to charges or anything. Uh, so I'm gonna use my energy ray cantrip. Okay. What? Lola sniffing Henry's bed. Okay. Um. I didn't make it. You didn't make it. Arcus, now you still have to do your intimidation. Oh, that was my intimidation. Okay, wait, hold on. So I. Oh, okay. Did you hit? What am I supposed to add to that? EAC is a twenty. What am I supposed to add to What'd my you roll? roll? I rolled a 15. It's an attack roll. Yes, yeah, so your base attack bonus. You bad. Oh, that's 17. That's it's your ranged range attack. Counting. Oh. So was, was that one, Adam? Ranged attack is likely to be... It's a uh, base attack bonus plus dex. Should be on your sheet, Jules. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> she moved to Bob's um, PC gen software. And she's uh... running right. So she's trying to find everything. Uh, the character sheet in the last tab, if you just that has everything mm -hmm. in a character sheet format, you can even print that out. I'm just too lazy to do that. That's what I'm using. It's not bad, right? Yeah, I like it. Everything's right there. Yeah, they do. What is that? Your your range attack bonus. Range attack bonus is a three, so yeah, that's still not enough. That is still a miss. Okay. But thank you. <laughs> so now you now you make your, your uh, bonus. Okay. 
No bonus? No, no, no extra bonus. Whatever you're... you're, you're... Okay. <coughs> okay. I at least he's unable to spook the creature. I have been zero help yet. Sylvan. There's a the mound. He, uh, Sylvan notices that there is a sand slide which he navigates down. All right. Man, he does not. Oh my god, another one? Another natural yep. one. <laughs> we are not doing well. All right. God. We is French for civ civilian. <laughs> All right. This. Oops. The Eric's go. Uh, all right. Five. A year tramples into a tree, knocking it down, smashing it into Ialisi. Ialisi, give me a reef save. No. Fifteen. All right. So you take six damage. And all PCs take a minus one penalty athletics and survival checks during the phase. What the heck? That's like half. You could cut out through a lot of that, Josh. What What are we taking a minus to? Uh, acrobatics, athletics, and survival. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Adam. You take a minus one to Adam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two more successes, guys. You see a bridge ahead at the end of the valley. You're almost there. That's more inspiring than just saying, Look, there is a bridge over there. Let us go. At the edge of the valley. <laughs> this totally is Jumanji, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit. Uh, so Ghost is up? Yes. So the only thing that there's no penalty on is Intimidate, so he's going to go with Spook. He's going to take a shot with his azimuth laser pistol. Uh, here comes the blast. Here comes the blast. Da -na -na. Oh, I lost my sound effect. When I restarted. Uh, that's weird. Did it roll? Oh, there it is. Ooh, natural 20. Uh, Ooh. So he hit for four. The uh, double damage made it seven. Yeah, it doesn't really matter in this case because there's no way to be able to kill this thing. No, understood, but if I'm, I'm trying to see if I hit the two. Oh, you need to make a ten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then... Oh, so I guess the natural... First roll was a four. And then you... The second roll was a three. And then... I got seven. Is there any other damage that came in? Nope. Your weapon proficiency... Oh, you do get... Your weapon proficiency adds uh, half your level. So half your level is one. So I'm at eight. Eight. No, nope, I don't have it. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, fair enough. So it'll be Intimidate with a plus two circumstance bonus. Yes, sir. Oh, he's on fire, though, uh, if that helps. <laughs> no! Does not help. Bad. <laughs> now he's angry. Uh, 24. On the All right, you were able to successfully spook him. Get away, you Get big away, creature! <laughs> he, he, he stops dropping over you. <laughs> no, not here! Not here! Bad dinosaur! Bad! <laughs> Alright, that bridge is close! You can see it! You can almost taste it! Trigger! Uh, there is no um, negatives to navigate on the survival check, right? It was... Correct. Athletics and acrobatics, so... No, it was acrobatics, athletics, and survival. So there is a negative to survival. Oh. I'm so not to stealth or uh -huh. intimidate. But or... stealth doesn't give you anything. I know, I see that. Yeah, a anything that earns us a success, it's a minus two. Minus one. Oh, minus I'm one? Gonna, oh, you said it was minus two. The lowest of survival is a minus two. Well, the words okay. out of your mouth said minus two. I'm going to continue to try to navigate us to the bridge. All right. All the chaos. Natural 19. Natural 19. Trigger finds the path. Everybody falls in behind him. It's almost like he planned a video game or TV movie. Everybody falls in behind him. You make it across the bridge. A Yerk is chasing you. It's first foot steps on the bridge. You hear the bridge crack. Second foot, it sounds worse. Third foot, the bridge, and Yerk tumble into the chasm below. <gasps> the last two legs weren't enough to save it. 
Eight hundred experience points. <laughs> <laughs> Smoker like a true RPG. Mm -hmm. So we killed one. No. <laughs> I think we killed it. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the other cool picture though. You know, picture goes I, you know what I like to think? Uh, I like to think that there was an architect who built that bridge, maybe like an ancient elven uh, architect, and he's probably somewhere in space right now, eating his food with his yes. family. And because of his design, uh, he ultimately gets the credit for killing the creature. He gets 800 experience yeah. points, and he levels up four times in front of his family while eating. <laughs> <laughs> so there, did that, did that reset you guys? Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. So that's that's what just happened. That is entirely not what I was picturing. Oh, that's so cool. It's a lot bigger than us. <laughs> no, I, I pictured it being about that size. What I didn't picture was the terrain. There's lots of trees there. I was just picturing a whole field of tall, tall grass. Grass. I pictured a little more grass too, Adam. This was it got it got denser as you got closer to the bridge. I guess you did get okay. hit by a bunch of shards, shards, splintered logs. Splintered. So we we knew there were some trees there some. at some point. Oh, that's true. I did not pick up on that. This yeah. ruined my gameplay. Damn. Just FYI, the guy who drops his gun, he should be shot. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. As you uh, cross the bridge, you're, 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 you're uh, panting and collecting your breath. And you, our XP. You've entered, you, you notice you've entered a courtyard. Uh, at the far end is a, an obelisk. Um, you recognize it? That's like the one in the book? Like the one right in the book, um, uh, there's numerous trees. The courtyard is the, the stones are pushed up, moss is growing up, uh, the roots are, are growing up all over. Um, like there's a, numerous trees with uh, blue striped fruit growing on them, and of course, the, the, the kakarikis are screeching. There's a lot more, it's a lot of food. So, Can first, we see them now? first, give me a DC 13 life science check to see if you identify the fruit. Identified. Anybody else? Uh, 14. Uh, 14. 18. Alright, so from your, your survival training in Ilyse's life on the planet, you recognize this as... Um, anybody else? 13. You recognize it as well as a Relalian fig. Um, they are edible. Is this wrong? They are super tart, but they are edible. So those that wish to pucker up are welcome to have them. Um, <coughs> and then give me a perception check. <coughs> Six. Uh, Six. That was real nice. Thirteen. Um, I failed my perception check. I'm too good <coughs> uh, making funny faces from eating the tart fig. <laughs> good job, Mike. Um, Oh, Whoa! Me... Look what Sivian got. I'm twenty-eight. Hold on a second, lost my spot here. I'm just use uh, these other ones. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. I like your CPR mannequin behind you, Chris. You like that? Yeah, that's not CPR. That's his um, his his, his, his beaten thing. Bob, Bob, Bob dummy. dummy. Bob, but, come on now, we don't no need to get personal, Chris. Okay. That's Jeez. that's his name. Bob. You go look it up. He's my uh, he's my baby. We fight. Oh, for, uh, <laughs> practicing punching, that kicking, boxing. Hmm. You can see it. Yeah. All right, guys, at the bottom left of that page, my roll twenty is misbehaving. That's what a kakariki looks like. Oh, he's kakariki, all right. He's got, like, membrane wings going on there. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. They, they glide from tree to tree. Um, they are so Do they say wee wee as they sit from tree to tree? No, but it's close. It's like, uh, Not that kind of wee wee, guys, just so you know. You say kakariki. They go back to the Wicked Witch at the end of the long day. I say no. devil monkey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you where you are now. Take your last view of your. Of the so, they look super cute. Can we, uh, can we all see the kakariki now? There, there, there's, there's a bunch of them. You have, you can't even count how many are swinging, gliding, and sliding all over the place. Um, it's very hard to keep track of them. Occasionally, one will 
hope will start to sneak up on you and then run back as soon as you see it. Um, None of them are trying to throw poop at anybody, right? Oh, they're throwing the rotten fruit at you. Oh, okay. They're oh, that's all right. So they're, they're trying to sneak up on us and they're throwing rotten food at us? Some are. Some are sneaking up. Some are throwing fruit. That's it. Ghost is going to fire and uh, take aim and trick attack, use stealth, and then bang, shoot one. This is a nice map. Yes, I think I put you guys in the bottom right of the map. That's yes, I a really nice map. It's like a fairy kingdom. Look at I map. just wish I could get the freaking squares to line up. It is so hard to line their grid up with the Paizo, with the Royal 20 grid with the Paizo. They just don't want to line up. Weird. You would think it's just squares. It's not. Um... Go ahead, Mikey. I had a ghost. Give me your shot. Yep. Uh, oh, I have to click on me. Where am I? This one? They are small, just for the record. Uh, I'm not able to select my guy. So, that's a shame. Oh, you're not able to select your guy. I don't know. <laughs> Same issue as last time. Maybe I don't have permissions or something? You should. <laughs> Stop yeah, I, I can't move my guy either. No worries. Hold on. No, because I want you guys to <laughs> guys. It sucks for me not to control everybody. Uh, he succeeds on his uh with a natural nineteen. He definitely makes his sneak his trick attack. Uh, but we'll see if now the attack itself works. Wow, pulling up the character sheet super slow for me. What's the DC on the trick attack, Bob? Well, it is uh twenty. And then anything over 20 is the CR that it uh, qualifies for. So if I roll the 36, as long as the creature is CR 16 or less, then the trick attack part works. Then that sets that it to be flat-footed. Flat so it's AC. Gotcha. Two. And then I roll the actual attack, which probably... So, Bob, for, for the record, mm -hmm. Ghost is in all players' journals. It can be entered by all players. <laughs> So I can't figure out why you guys can't. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, don't worry about it, though. I can work around it. Uh, so the attack, uh, so the attack the laser pistol, laser pistol is a natural six. So I rolled a 13 against, K -A K -A against EAC, uh, but then it gets a minus it two gets to its AC. So whatever its AC is, minus two against a 13. Okay, it has a... A case, an EAC of 11. <gasps> it's a hit. So he it's does a uh, 10 points of fire damage with his asthma pistol. All right. Are, are you clicking on usuals? I'm trying to make it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why you guys can't. Con I, I, you should have. Con Sorry, Wilson. Yeah, it's really weird. I was trying to see if, like, if I had to highlight. All right, so you um, you damn it! I'm gonna I'm gonna put. They are not where I put them. It's just so I can identify them, and you guys can see them too. Um, four are actually close to you, and are looking for trouble. Uh oh. So I'm gonna put them on the map and assign them colors. Shooting at. I will tell you: never trust a monkey. They're very close to us. Also, never so, trust anything trust that throws its poop at you. Come on. There we are. Alright. You should see four on the map now. Uh, there were four, but then you moved one over the other, so it looks like three to us. But I think there's... Yeah, my, map is, my map is jumping all over the freaking... Ah. What the heck? Oh, we, it's stuck on that freaking... Where, where, when you dance, monkey, dance. You got dance on your spoon. We got dance, dance. What the heck? What do you experience? What do you experience? Oh, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm, it's like stuck in pan and zoom. How about reload the page? Just refresh the page from the browser. See if that clears it. Uh, 
If I reload it, I lose a moment. All right, you win. I'll reload the freaking page. He's gone. Now we can talk about it. Now we can. <laughs> Except that I'm, I'm still on this. Son of a. Son of a. You got me this you time, got me Josh. This time, Josh. We can talk about him in the chat. <laughs> Actually, I loaded Discord. I just haven't joined. The, I just haven't. No, the rules. Did that solve it? I don't know. I had to wait my 12. Oh, right. 11, right. Nine. Why do you have to? Roll, roll 20 is struggling today, I think. Yeah. I mean, Who knew Tuesday was such a popular night for uh, Roll20? Honestly, I think... Um, it's Monday. I think every night is Roll20 right now. I think I... Did I tell you guys this last week? Steam hit its record number of users ever on its uh, service. There's a lot of people There's playing of video people games playing out video there. Game. All right, I'm much happier now. All right. Bob, the one you hit is... Uh... You want to give him colors? Give him Josh? colors? I'm doing it right now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. All right. We'll just say you've got. There is no. There is the opportunity to engage these in melee is hard during the trip. Oh, they're above us oh, they're in above the trees. Us. Okay. I, I'll give Adam the opportunity with reach because he can hit one with the reach, with the reach but a regular melee is not going to hit. You hit blue for 8 damage or 10 damage? Uh, 10 damage. 10 fire. 10 fire. All right. Oh, Alicia, you can uh, use her jump uh, jets. Jets. Yeah. You can get up trees. How high in the trees are they? Uh, is Ilysi better at melee than she is at ranged? <laughs> Did Adam just make fun of you? Yes. Alright. That's because Ilysi can't. Alright. I'm going to add it to her. Um, we can all roll initiative quick. I really wish you could get the initiative stuff for better. Like, list your names. You can fly 20 feet straight up. <laughs> I can guarantee I'm going to last in my room. Uh, 19. 19. 14. Hold on a second. That's three. See, Bob. Oh, not bad, Ozzy. Bad, Ozzy. Oh my gosh, people are gosh, hot people tonight. Are hot. What'd you get, Ilysi? 14. Jeff, What'd you get, Bob? Uh, a 19. I'd help you out, but I can't edit the turn order or the turn tracker either. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ozzy, what'd you get? 17. 17. <laughs> Jeff, what do you got? 17. Jeff sounds strangely awake. Hmm. Are you still waking up at teacher hours, Jeff? Sure. No, I'm at about like 7.30 now. Oh, nice. Well, 12. 12. I'm sleeping in. God, you guys suck. Henry let me sleep till 6 this morning. Wow, even Henry is sleeping Henry. in. He, he's not used to us being home all the time. <laughs> all right. Uh, Sivian is up. Yeah, so, like, I don't know why, little mouse dude, you should get pick a fight with these little creatures, man. But I'm going to go ahead and defer because that kind of thing, you know? So he's gonna take uh, three steps back. So you're you're not getting involved right now. Oh, right. bug icon! Why am I so far in the corner? Yeah, that's what I look like. That's all right. You're buggy. You guys did that. I kind of imagined in my head, but it's interesting to put a actual picture on the screen to it. Yeah, he's, got, he's he's got antennas, guys. He's got uh, four arms, two arms full, uh, two are like Tyrannus Rex for mating only. Oh. Interesting. All right. Um, ghost, you're up again. Uh, trick attack again. Okay. Uh, oops, I'm gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Let's see. Why is this a surprise to me? I knew this was coming. Sorry. Uh, All right. I'm sorry. I can't. Why you can't control yourself? 
No, it's all, no, it's it's all, all good. good. Why can't you control yourself, Dr. Bob? I can't control myself when I'm <laughs> around you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, okay, so it's stealth against DC20. Here's the first roll. And this is for the trick attack part. So I, what did I get? A 34. So as long as the CR is 14 or less, the trick I attack I think that's easy to say. Okay. Now for the actual attack. You know what you're going to do. It is a 20 against EAC, which we think is a hit, uh, for uh, 12 points of fire damage. Fire. All right. So that is a... I assume you're targeting the same blue one? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, they don't the, train us to be stupid at the Academy. The blue one is normal. Oh, great. The, Those things are easy. That is a yeah. lesson for you. For Do you. not throw poop at throw me. Poop at me. <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with poop? They haven't thrown any poop. Yes, they were throwing poop. Did you not see? You failed your perception check. Rotten fruit. Maybe <laughs> you didn't check your <laughs> Ozzy, you are up. Uh, I'll let you uh, reach with the tack lash, or you can shoot. Uh, yeah, I would like to tack lash. Alright. Uh, which one is other... Whichever one is in range. Purple is probably your closest one. Then uh, I, I will, if I can. I can't tell if I can step in front. There, it's more of a height thing than a distance thing. Oh, uh, okay. But if I if I step in front of, uh, I think that's trigger there. Yes. Uh, will I block any attacks coming from the uh, from the monkeys at him? No. Okay. Then I'll just take a whack at purple. Okay. Because uh, they're in the trees. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, that second one, just ignore it. 16 is the one that should have taken the second one. Too late, though. Uh, 16 versus KAC. Wait, wait. First off, I had to look at you. It says Adamar Wapush. <laughs> Adamar whips his tech lash in the faces of his enemies, and I see a 21 versus KAC. Yeah, okay. I hit the button twice by accident. Go for the top one. Oh, the top one. Okay. Six. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. I see. It might scroll off in that case. Um... That is still a hit because they're EAC and KAC. So that is still a hit for 13 damage. Wow, you hurt that thing bad. Oh, I think he did 11. Yeah, 11 damage. Yeah. Sorry. You still hurt that thing pretty bad. Just not quite as bad as we thought. Correct. Okay. Uh, now it's up. All right, I'm going to have to go after the same one. Okay. Uh, to try to finish it off, possibly. Um, uh, it looks like, okay, <clears throat> I'm firing my, uh, I think I have a lens pistol, cylindrical lens pistol, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that was I think your acquisition, right? So that bumped it up to 1d8 instead of, uh, 1d4. Whatever. What does that fire, oh, nice. for, does that fire energy or does that fire projectiles? Charges, uh, to the... Okay. I rolled the natural twenty. It's burned down. I think that's a pretty good shot. Uh, just a note. Just a uh, note. Uh, I think that where you're standing right now, you've got Ozzy in the way, so you would take a minus two. Uh, I'm not. I'm not keeping my, my, where you're playing position is irrelevant, right? Now. Okay. It's kind of, I'm, I'm just playing. Above I'm, us. Right. Right. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. And you guys can be spread out more. I just put you all on the board so you had you there. <coughs> what What is it for? Crit since I so rarely uh, do these. D4 burn damage. You, so, you're, gonna, you're gonna do your damage, your regular damage twice. You're gonna roll both times, and then you're then you're gonna have a damage baby. I rolled a one, a two, and a two. How's that good? That sucks. <laughs> you still kill. <laughs> so just, don't forget. And I get plus one. Don't forget. Purple that. drops to the trees dead. I was gonna say for your weapon proficiency, you get a plus one on that roll. For damage because it's half your level right now <laughs> and then last but not least uh if it were alive don't forget the burn damage next round mm. yeah all right uh, i at least you're okay um i'm gonna use my okay you recognize these creatures from your youth they you hate them they used to wake you all the time if you'd be camping super screechy and annoying 
it will be very sad. Did they kill your body? <laughs> kill your body. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. to prepare to die? No. <laughs> You don't have to roll the hit with your magic missiles. Oh, that's right. I'm just used to rolling, okay. I have to roll for damage. Yes. The jewels is fading out of sky. I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Alice Montoya, you kill my father. Sure. Prepare. Shoot three missiles, Jules. Oh, so I have to roll each time? I thought it was just no. I they all no. deal the same amount. No. Oh. Five and five. Wow, so thirteen? What against the orange or green? Um Orange. Wow. I at least he took a whoop into that one. Orange is hurting pretty hard. You not dead yet? Nope. Triggers up. Trigger is going to shoot at the orange. Eleven. Are you sick? I, I'm not rolling well. Yeah, all right. Wow. 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 I I have not been rolling well all night. Actually, is it a uh, EAC is eleven, so it's still a hit. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, three points of damage. You killed that one as well. The, the last one, as, as it continues, flings a, uh, a um, fruit. fruit. Thank you, Jules. A rotten fruit at Ilesi. A natural 17 is a hit. The rotten fruit hits Ilesi right in the face. What? It just runs down. It doesn't do it's just really annoying. I was going to be really annoyed if I got damaged because of that. And then it's, it scampers off and, and, and climbs into a... Um, like, a like, like it looks at a, a, a whole tree. Looks like it throws something in there and scampers off first. What was that last piece? I'm last sorry. Piece? It scampers off into... It, 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 it starts to run off. It looks like it has some... Puts in a, 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 like an open... Like a rotting knot in a tree. It puts something in there. Oh. Runs off. Poop. Hey, Lisi, Lisi, can you fly up there and see what there is there? there? Yeah. It's about a dozen feet off the ground. I can't fly more than that. 20 you can fly. She can do 20 feet straight up. Oh. I could. Uh, she could also just stand on my shoulders. <laughs> Let her use I want to use my new. I can fly 20 feet straight up. All right. So you, Do you believe you can fly? <laughs> I got faith, trust, and jump jets. So we're what's, your, what's your happy thought? <laughs> <laughs> Even better. <laughs> I at least he uses her jump jets, floats up there, looks at looks in the hole in the tree. Yep. <laughs> and finds three Mark II serums of healing. Oh, oh nice. Oh. Thing. Ooh. Mark II. Mark II. Mark II. Mark II. I take them, I pocket them, I don't tell anyone that they were up there. Oh, really? I what did you see. find, Eileen? What did you see? Nothing. You, you also lose your alignment bonus. <laughs> <laughs> She's neutral good. She's not awful. Oh, just to clarify, um, Mark II healing is 3d8 hit points restored when you use it. Is how many, Bob? 3d8. 3d8? That's yeah. a big jump. Mm -hmm. You should share those. Fine, you know. Be a nice girl. Alright, Lisey, what'd you find? I found two Mark II healing serums! Why are you telling us that? Listen, have you learned nothing? You should hide those. <laughs> you should never tell anybody what you find. You keep it all. You know what, Ghost? I didn't want to tell you, but there was this really annoying voice in my head. I was like, <laughs> you really should share. Listen, you should do what I did. Kill the voice. <laughs> Why is it always killing with you? What do you mean? I don't know yeah, what you're talking what you're... about. <laughs> Never mind. You have a kill list of the order in which you're going to kill all of us. Yes. 
Yeah. You do not? Uh, everybody no. has a kill list. I don't have a kill list. He's Sansa. No, that's Sansa. Um, Arya. Hmm. <laughs> Look, even Sylvia oh has a kill list. Look at him. Look at the bug. Look at the rage in his eyes. He is just, he is an animal waiting to pee on me. <laughs> He's waiting to pee on me. Look, give in to your darker side, Sylvia and Buck. Uh, you saw him above, man. You gotta really relax, man. No, you need to be angry about something. Oh. Bless you. Oh. Bless you. Thank you. What are you, some sort of monk? What are you, meditating now? I'm trying to block your ne negativity out, man. What? You gotta just relax. You have bad just, vibes. You just killed some bees, man. <sighs> All right. I will tell uh. you this. When the food runs, the out, food runs out, it is the it's mouse nice. with the gun who gets, gets the food. So if but you... I'm bigger than you. But you do not have a <laughs> gun, have and a I gun. have a gun. I have many guns. She, she has several guns. I have three guns and magic. Uh, hmm. You should focus, you should on, focus one on one thing and get good uh, at it, killing other people. I am very good at lots of things. All right. So if you zoom back out to the full size of the map, in the top left corner, that uh, giant sort of squarish thing is, it, is the obelisk mm. that is mentioned in the. Um, Ooh, that's pretty. That is mentioned in um, the notes and in. Um, let me show you. I have a reveal here. That blue stuff, yeah. are those blue flowers, that, like blue ivy that surrounds it? All right, can you see the, oh, the uh, obelisk? Yeah, see the obelisk? Yeah, cool. All right. I assume you're approaching it in some manner to get a better way? Uh, Perhaps we should approach this obelisk in some manner. Just a moment, just, just a, a moment. moment. Just a... He takes the sheer high the rifle, shear. sniper rifle out. Sniper rifle. And change it, trains his sights on sights. it. Does he see anything uh, that would be concerning on the obelisk, uh, yeah. like on the top of it or anything? Yeah, uh, give a perception check. The eye rifle gives no bonuses no whatsoever, board. just looks cool. 21. 21. There's nothing there. Um, okay. It actually looks like the, the, the obelisk, particularly towards the top, like you said, is where worn from age. So the, the rune obelisk rises above the jungle, just as journal noted. It's an immense pillar of stone, approximately 15 feet wide, with an X-shaped cross-section that provides climbing plants, including a network of green vines, several brilliant fuchsia bromelades, and a host of violet flowers, excellent purchase. So I'm going to move the U as a group closer. I'm going to go get my laptop charger. Does anybody uh, need to rest, by the way? Regain hit points from um, the Yarrick encounter? Us two. I lost six. Nobody lost a ton. So. Maybe not worth it then. I lost the third one. It's a few Alright, as soon as Jules comes back, we'll roll for initiative. <laughs> What did the book say? Did the book have any book have any um, anything on this obelisk thing? We're gonna we're gonna talk about that as soon as we get back. Oh, okay. Apparently, we're left. I guess we charge. It wants to be plugged in. So, uh, those of you who are uh, on, uh, quarantine, how are you getting your groceries? Are you going to the grocery store? or Are you having it delivered? We went to the grocery store. We went to BJ's and stopped two weeks ago. I, I, I go to the grocery store every day. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to the grocery store, Bob. Yeah, that's what I do, too. So I'm the just, only one who's like, having it delivered to the house? Maybe. There's, there's nobody who delivers here in my Oh, good point. Good point. 
So, so far, you're you know. So. How much is right. up, Josh? How many more weeks can you go weeks can if you, you don't have to go back out? <laughs> for food? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd say we have enough for this week and next, easily. After that, it gets a little sketchier. Nicely done. We, yeah, we, I, we have a ton I, of, I'd probably have enough for two weeks before I'd have to go out. I've probably got 20 chicken breasts in the freezer, and then probably six or seven cans of black beans. We got wraps, we got cheese, so we can do quesadillas. Um, everybody is really taken in by the violet blossoms of the vines that are by the tree to the point I need a will save for everybody. Ooh. A what? A will? Yeah. Will save. Oh, shoot. That's the crappiest one we all have. <laughs> or at least I have. I think fortitude is worse for me. My will save is the best. I got yeah, I have no will today. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have no will either, Adam. Another one. That's good. You are just getting oh, all the ones getting out, all of the the way, ones out of the way. Jeez. Oh my gosh. I think you've got enough ones for the entire campaign. So Adam, Adam rolled the three and Chris rolled the one. Uh, I, I rolled a ten. Bonuses. I rolled a fourteen. With my that, bonus. That's, like, that's like a three for Mike. Jeff, what'd you roll? Sorry, I just got back. Uh, I need a will go? check. A what? A will check. Yeah, it's the first time you've ever used it, Jeff. It's it's in that. I box gotta look it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's in that box called saving throws on your character sheet. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Mine is still better. Ghost got a twenty-two. <laughs> Very lucky roll. All right. So uh, we should be ghosted. All right. I'm gonna reveal the monster now. Oh, great. Wait, there's a what now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We have discovered yeah, right. the monster, and it is us. Obelisk. We have to fight the obelisk. That's actually, it. it's, it's, it's a giant. It's actually a large creature. Mm. Doesn't look very large. <laughs> that is, it's, it's a tentacles are wrapped around. It's a vines that are wrapped around the tree. The orange blossoms are a hypnotic effect. Those of you who failed your DC, where is it? I write it down. DC 13 will save, which would be uh, Ozzy and um, Sivian. Uh, I fail. I fail too, Josh. DC 13. Okay, so we're gonna roll initiative, and then I'll tell all of you. Because had turn. Oh my god! Now I can change. What the... I am changing dice. These are just. A, uh, this is atrocious. What'd you get, Adam? Twenty. Whoa. Hey, I rolled it. I rolled it too. <laughs> yes. I rolled the creature. For a second. Oh God, another three! I suck tonight, too, guys. Uh, three plus. Eight. Yeah, but we're used to that, Josh. Six. I rolled. The, I, this is the exact same one I have. All right. Uh, what do you got? Uh, eight, oh, five, Chris. Nice. Jeff, what do you got? 25. Whoa. Ow. Trigger. Six. Hi, right, 16. Ghost. It says seven, but it should be nine. It's not taking into account the operative bonus. So nine. All right. Nala. You see this creature unwinding vines coming off the uh, the uh, obelisk. It is uh, if you want to give me a quick life sciences check, and everybody give me a quick life sciences check if they want to try to identify what this is. Yes, please. Uh, 15. 15. Uh, I rolled a one, so forget it. By the way, large creature is eight to sixteen feet, weighing five hundred pounds to two town to two tons. Takes up ten feet. Up ten feet. Natural reach of five feet. Five feet. So, so would you say that uh, Nala is terrified beyond the capacity for rational? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's so excited to be shooting at it. Ah, okay. 
She doesn't know what it is, but boy, she wants to shoot at me. Man, I want to kill that thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I got a life sciences of 26. Ooh. So everybody with life science recognizes this as a Presidia. Um, I mean, it's not particularly pleasant. It has a word my Chichiko. It has a, a hypnotic violet blossom. So those who are affected will see what happens on their turns. And it also has a paralyzing scent when you get too close. So how do you spell it? V R A C I N E A. All right, so now you're up. Uh, I'm gonna say, hey, we. Oh, sorry, we must get him. Oh, oh that's, that's nice. That's good. That's not quite my... the same as what you say. So good. <laughs> I'm going to fire my uh, new whatever it is at it. <laughs> my, new lens, lens pistol. my new weapon. My new weapon. Good old, never forget good old what's his name. <laughs> <laughs> it's your cylindrical lens pistol. Alright. It uses mirrors to focus a laser to make it even more powerful than a regular azimuth laser. 17. Uh, 17. Ooh. Uh, EAC. EAC is a hit as a 16 EAC. Ooh, you just made it. Things as, things as big as a uh, house. Come on. Six damage. All right. Uh, and everybody gets plus one to hit. Nice. Ozzy is next, and Ozzy, Ozzy cannot control his desire to, to be near the creature. He is forced to move here. Whoa. Oh, I give the creature a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> um, give me a will, another will save to um, shake off the effects of the lore. 19. Now you're talking. You successfully shake off the effects of the lore. Um, of course, now you're... But, but now I'm in the range of something else. <laughs> now you're in the, in, in the range of the paralyzing scent. Uh, so give me a fortitude check. <laughs> He's got this. That's a strong one for him, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. One. You, 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 once you save against any of these effects, you are no longer saving. saving. So you are you are good to go. Um, mm, go ahead and attack if you want this turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a guarded step... Uh... Backwards, up and to the right, and I'm going to fight defensively with my tack lash. Oh yeah. What? Your pictures not. What are you my pictures on? No, it's dead. Uh, it's at a minus four. I have it times at all times. Seven versus KAC. Ooh. No, I'm sorry, no. 25, 21 versus KAC. Oh, nice. nice. Okay. That is 11 damage, and I have plus 2 to my ACs. Excellent. How much damage was that? 11? 11. You also, get, you also get plus 1 to hit from... Uh... Oh, yeah. oh, that's right, yeah. Alright, at least he's up. Um, I am going to... Shoot at it with my flame pistol. Maybe oh, it's a plant. Maybe it doesn't like fire. fire? Yeah, that was my thought. <laughs> and I only have <laughs> one. <laughs> Ooh, okay, no, shoot. shoot. I only have one level. Alright, we're gonna shoot. Saving it. Eleven. Plus. What do I have to add to it? Your ranged bonus. Your dex is plus three. And then I bet you have a BAB of like two, maybe. So it's probably like plus five. Her range was plus three last time, I believe. Yeah, yeah. plus three. That's just so eleven plus story. fourteen. Eleven plus fourteen is not enough. Plus Gedim is a plus one. Fifteen is still not enough. Can I just confirm with you on this one, Jules? That like, that if you look at the character sheet for your character, 
Mm -hmm. Under your KAC, you have base attack. What yeah. plus do you get from that? Two. Two. And then your dexterity has a plus. plus. Next to your dexterity score, what plus is that? Just plus one. Okay. Got it. So you are a plus three. I totally get it now. Apologies. Uh, what, what about um, uh, weapon efficiency or weapon whatever it is? That's, That's another one, right? Damage. Damage? Bob yeah. on that ship. Bob on that oh, ship. Yeah, you're right. It is damage. If you look on the left under saving throws, it says melee and range. That will, it'll give you your range right there. Uh, yes. Uh, That's yes. true. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, I did deduct your um, charge for using that. All right. Next. I up. still used. You've, yeah, it's still shot. Like, go I strong. have a lot of fire. Uh, we're gonna go with the trick attack. Trusty trick attack. It's been really good though, so I don't know if it's gonna happen again. Uh, ooh. So as long as the creature has a CR sixteen or less, the trick attack. <laughs> I is to say yes. And then the azimuth pistol. The azimuth this pistol. is against EAC. It would be a twenty-one against EAC. That is it. And that is for ten points of fire damage. Fire. All right. Look at that. You're almost as good as Ozzy. <laughs> who, who else failed their save? Me. I did. Okay. All right. Let me see what the. You're going to totally outscale totally the damage outscale. as you start leveling. Start. Up. <laughs> okay. He has a reach of 10, so he is in a, a bite attack against. Um, uh, Ozzy. Ozzy. I had a feeling he had a reach attack. <laughs> <laughs> Natural 15. Oh. Plus. Or I get here? Plus 12. Oh. Oh my god. 27. Um, well, I got this new armor. It's close, but not close enough. You got a plus 10, and then don't forget your defensive plus 2, so you have a plus 12 to your base KAC. Okay, that puts me at a 25. Son That's of a... pretty damn insane, <laughs> but not insane enough. That's 12 um, piercing damage. Oof. 12p. I'm assuming that's piercing. Yeah. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it, guys. I still have 6 stamina. <laughs> plus 6 stamina. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> Alright, um... <laughs> All right, Trigger, you failed? Yes. All right, Trigger uh, moves up to the creature. Give me a will save. Another will save to see if you can overcome it. Okay. Come on, Trigger. Uh, natural 18. Yes. Yes, you overcome it. Now you'll see if you overcome it. Smell. Oh, dear. Give me a fortitude check on that one. Uh, a 13 plus four. Uh, All right, 18, 18 total. You made that as well, so you can attack. Okay. Um, I think mm, if you use a ranged attack, he'll get an opportunity attack on you. Yes. If you take a guarded step back and use the ranged attack, he'll get an opportunity attack on you. Just so you know. You know, Adam, I, I messed up your turn. You should not have been able to guarded step because you would move to get to him. Oh, I didn't realize that that was my move. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'm, not, I'm just. I'm not gonna fix it now. But so I mean, so Josh, if I don't attack, can I use another move? Yes. But he'll. All get right, a, I'm gonna run away. He'll get a free swing on you. He's gonna get one anyway. Dude. I'm standing next well, to him. You, you could use. A... You could use two guarded steps, Mike. He's got she... a reach of ten. That's two squares. <laughs> <laughs> move after the creature moved him, so I have to give you that. Same so you can have two moves and get away from him, but that's your turn. Okay, that's fine. All right. Okay. Um, did Sivan miss makers or, or, or say the will save or fail it? Fail. fail. I just right. want to point one thing out real quick, Josh. When I did come and get it, I didn't use their move. Just letting you know. <laughs> I'm being a nice guy. <laughs> I will just say, here's any living creature. Do, 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 do. An affected target must use two move actions each round to move directly toward the creature at its full speed. I just wanted to mention come and get it, that's all. <laughs> what are you doing here? You're supposed to be sleeping with mommy. All right, uh, Chris, give me a, a, one more will save here. See if you can overcome any creature. 22, and then my fortitude is a... Uh... 
16. You've overcome both, so you have your now. Hey, coming through I... the clutch. Yeah, right. You all uh, you, you know, uh, this is a little crazy, man. Uh, I, I get your psychedelic vibes, but I'm really not taking you attacking us. So I'm going to go ahead and say I don't like this. And uh, he goes uh, in sync with his uh, new curved blade of some sort. Curved carbon blade. Curved carbon. Okay, of, of, of kick-assery? Of missing. Damn. Yes. <laughs> oh. He's not a fighter, yeah, just, guys. To get any bonuses to that? Yeah, like yeah. another, like, Plus 16. 18 or so? <laughs> yeah, I, I'll nope. be honest. Everything I've read about the Mystics says... You take a couple of spells for healing, and everything else is damage spells. Yep. yep. Now you're up. you're up. All right, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. Mm. Let's stay on track and get that one. Uh, then I'm going to fire my pistol. Yeah. 14. 14 against EAC... Wait, I, uh, I hate to I hate to point this out, but I think I am standing directly in front of Nala, so it doesn't matter. The, the, the EAC is sixteen, so it's still a miss. Okay. Just don't roll a one at me. Uh, you you're that guy. You got him. <laughs> Flank him. Ozzy's up. All right, Ozzy's gonna do. Trying to find if there's a way. You can try to get Chris to move. Well, yeah, it's. What are you looking to do? What are you looking to do? I'm looking to make sure he attacks me next and not Chris. Uh... Eh, I'm wily. Oh wait. oh wait, I don't care about the guy. He's a damn hippie. <laughs> <laughs> if you do more damage, oh, Ozzy, yeah. Ozzy's just gonna do a uh, fight defensive. That's Again. He's got a plus 12. He's got a plus 12. Is it worth it? Is your plus 2 going to count that? It might. I mean, it gives me 10% more chance of not getting hit. Okay. Okay. That ain't going to hit. Uh, a natural one is not going to hit. No, that's his damage. I didn't roll a one. Yeah, that's my damage. Oh, I see. But you know what? The natural 5 isn't going to hit either. Not at a minus 4. No, it is not. <laughs> I mean, does he have a 13 KAC by any chance? No. I at least see. Um, I'm gonna use what? I'm gonna use my azimuth laser pistol. Give, give me the sound effect. Pew pew pew! Come on. I rolled a 17. That is gonna be a hit. Yeah, I know it is. Should keep this up. You should. She wants to check. Don't know. Three. Three damage? Yes. No bonus that at all? Nope. All right. Uh, ghost drop. Same as before. Same. Stealth attack. You want to move so you're not in anybody's way? Oh, yeah. Good call. Uh, yeah, good call. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, uh, that seems pretty good. Oh, shnikes. Do you want me to get I up just... close? Do you want me to flank? No, no, no. I was just thinking I could have moved into flanking, although I would have taken an opportunity to attack doing so. So, trick attack, uh, 15 CR or less, it, the trick attack part will hit. So I assume that's a hit. Uh, the roll for the attack itself is a 15 against EAC, but it is flat-footed for this attack, so whatever its EAC is, it's too lower. And you have get him too? It's, oh, EA it's EAC is 16, so I believe that is a hit. Cool. Uh, nine fire damage. Oh, all right. And guys, uh, remember with your ranged attacks, uh, with the, if you have small arms, you add your half your level, and if you have anything that's not a small arm, you're adding your level to your damage. Don't forget to add your level to your. Damage. Oh, and you know what? I forgot on your ranged attacks. I also provide plus one to attack for you guys. All coordinated attacks, right? Coordinated yeah, attacks. I've been forgetting about that these last few weeks. Me too. All right, that's helpful. All right, he is going to attack um, Sivian. Yay! Oh man, I also have a plus two insight bonus against spells and spell like abilities that I've totally forgotten about. Oh, I should read my character sheet every week. You should. Uh, Chris, 20 versus uh, KAC? I have 13. 
Yeah. I rolled a natural one, but you also get plus nine, so ten damage. You got it. Are you still into you stamina? Still into stamina? <laughs> huh? Do you still have stamina points left? Yeah, twenty-seven. Okay. Twenty-seven stamina. Dang. Triggers up. Twenty-seven stamina. I only have twenty-four. How many hit points do you have? Fifteen. Uh, four, but minus ten, minus two. So. Oh, uh, Chris. There's the thing about the game. Maybe uh, we didn't tell you. You have stamina as one pool. You have hit points as a second pool. When you take damage, uh, take it from stamina first. When you're down to zero oh. stamina, then your hit points start going down. Oh, all right. You know, I kind of questioned that at first. I kind of like the mechanic. Yeah, I like it too. You don't have to sleep for two days after a fight to move on to the yeah. next fight. There, there's, still, there's kind of a cushiony hit points, and then there's the points. I kind of like it. Yeah. Anyway, trigger is up. So trigger uh, shoots at, tw at the creature. Uh, 21. Is it hit? And damage mm -hmm. is... Nice. Is this scatter gun? Is scatter this gun? Uh, your... Auto target gun? Target gun? This is the um, laser rifle. Oh, nice. Uh, that is seven uh, fire damage. Seven fire damage. Okay, dope. And that should get your entire level bonus because it's not a small arm, oh, right? right? So seven, eight, that's ten. Ten plus, uh, ten plus ten fire damage. Sorry, ten total fire damage. No barking. That takes the creature out. Yeah. Crumble all of yeah. rotten, well, not rotten, but soon to be rotten vegetation. Uh, don't forget to detract your shots if you're keeping track of your battery shot, your shots on your battery. Yep. Yes. All right. Trigger, trigger, are you okay? I, I, I ghost, I'm, ghost, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. This, this, what was that thing? I don't know. No. It doesn't. What what, is, what, what, is, what was that? It doesn't smell good. It does smell good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you guys search the area, um, uh, yeah. And um, can we take ten? Yes. Okay. Good. I want. I need mean, like in game. I want to take a little break and recover my stamina. Anybody else needs to take their stamina? Take, spend the resolve point to recover their stamina. Go ahead. Yeah. What do you got to do? So, point, and then you get both stamina point. You, do you say I remove one one um, RP? And my stamina recharges 100. Oh. percent It's really handy. There's lots Wait, of ways to heal stamina, but there's again? very few ways that. to heal hit points, Chris. What are those resolve points again? I never used them. I'm <laughs> 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 just on the character. Push the buttons, Josh. That's all. Go searches ah, the creature. Searches the He's creature. looking for any remnants of previous snacks or meals, like. If there's any leftovers from the last things that it ate. Are those monkeys edible that we killed? Can we cook one of them over a fire while we're taking ten? You could try. Have to roll survival. <coughs> should make sure it's edible. I don't know if you can build a good cooking fire in ten minutes. I'm going <laughs> to do a culture check on that to see if that was part of the... Uh, uh, when we went over here in the past and did we ever eat those uh 21 what are you is, e is eating eating those monkeys a good idea uh your life science say they edible but it's kind of like eating a squirrel it's for oh that's good eating <laughs> squirrels are pretty good man for one of you <laughs> not a lot of meat there. well how many did we kill like six of them <laughs> three three Oh, three? All right. Now, it might be worth it just to get a taste of food besides rations. <laughs> um, we had that, uh, that fruit before, too. Yes, the tart fruit. Hey. Hey, oh, hey. yeah. Jeez. I at least he got some fruit. Uh, right or no, the... Nala got some fruit right in the face. I at least he got a, a face full of fruit. <laughs> um, as you guys explore the area, you find... Um, an empty, uh, where is it? Frostbite class zero rifle. Frostbite, one word, dash class zero rifle. 
Jules, type in that. Yes, sir. And they cred that. stick with 200 credits. What? A 1D10 rifle. Jules has it. She's putting it in the chat. And then what'd you say? What was that? 290 credit. 290 it credit. Is zero frostbite? Uh, Jules put it in there. Okay, so frostbite level class four, zero. Level four, 1D8, 60 feet, 40 charges capacity. It shoots um, two, shoot two charges every time you fire. There's there's some there's several case, there's several sets of damage destroyed armor, and two. No, you don't even remember that exploration buggies. It looks like uh, Paqual had assembled them and had two of his it had several of his guys killed by the uh, Vrencia, Vrencinia, who never took the opportunity to use the vehicle, so he left them behind because he didn't need them. I can drive one. I, I it, ghost. I can drive one of these. These are fun. You need piloting to drive. It is ten of eleven. I think we're probably gonna knock off here. I'm I fine with that because this is something. This is new. It, it, it's actually a three passenger. Um, but I think this is a good time to break because this will be something new. Delve into it now. I'm afraid we'll get lost in the rules and not get anywhere. Sounds good. Except yeah. Jeff and Jules falling asleep. I just want to. I think good today. I call you did shotgun. great. You did good. Thank you. I am calling shotgun. Shotgun. That that does not mean I sit next to trigger. That just means I shoot people with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it's. I find it interesting that the time Jeff doesn't fall asleep is the one time we can't see him. Yeah. <laughs> Ironic. Hey, he did good. He has he has computer working today. Yeah. Well, most. Technically, we, we, we only were lasted 22 minutes. That wasn't so bad. I took the boys to East Village. We didn't get home till like 4:30, so it was. Uh, was it busy at the East rushed. Village wreck? No, there's nobody there. That's really good. Cool. But there was a couple of people walking up top and stuff. But like we we played basketball, we threw the football around, we threw the disc golfs around, we <laughs> threw the uh, uh, or kicked the soccer ball around a little bit. It was good. Nice couple hours. Get the kids out of the house. You know, it's it's kind of ironic. It's like when I was a kid when we walked the neighborhood now with the dog. Mm. There's people everywhere. It's so interesting to me that this is going to be like the Great Recession, Recession. like 9-11, like JFK assassination. Eventually, Eventually. we're going to meet people who were born after this, who have no memory of this. This will define a, a generation. So. I'm going to have students who don't remember it eventually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Well, guys, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the night. Thank you, It's good being back, guys. Hey, welcome back, Chris. Happy yeah, to have you. Have yeah, you. thanks for coming, Chris. Of course, yes, of course everybody else, too. I go to work. <laughs> Hopefully not get wrong. See you guys later. All, all right. right. See you guys. Good night, all. Good night, all. Right, Bye, everybody. When's your, oh, Josh, when's the next, when's the next session? I'm fine with him today. I'm fine with the next week. As long as we're all stuck home, I'm doing okay. this. Every... Next I, week sounds good to me. I gotta, I gotta work and make sure I have enough prep to every. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a lot of time prepping yesterday. Jules and I had a long conversation about, about the prep, and it really varies from session to session. This session, actually, believe it or not, I had a lot of prep um, because there's a lot of different things that I had to research and figure. Out. I also figured out all the vehicle stuff, which I hope you read and won't forget by next week. I'll say I read it. Don't expect me to remember it. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was gonna say I'm gonna have to reread it. For sure, we're all gonna have to reread it, which is fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but you know, <laughs> there, there was different things today. I I, I kind of like the that's that was kind of run as written. I, I like that. I like this as a change of pace. Um. Yeah, it seemed nice to me. I enjoyed nice. it. So I I think it's funny that we did a skill challenge. <laughs> And it Easily. didn't suck. Like, okay, yes, I complained, but it didn't suck nearly as bad as the 4E skill challenges did. Oh, those were so bad. That's a good point. It's like, if, if a skill challenge was written well, that's what this would be. Yeah. Yeah. This was, this was yeah, entertaining. That, that wasn't bad at all because there was a lot of uh, variety in it, I thought. Yeah, it was. I used the handouts effectively, which I think was. Yeah, the handouts were handouts. good. If yeah, I that, could have looked at that them, that helped. <laughs> trying to remember those would have been difficult. If you just well, that was it. I was like, I could have sent it to you, or oh wait, wait the world only has this capacity somewhere. Good idea. <laughs>
Although I do yeah, find it strange. Yeah. This is like Starfinder. Oh, Jeff left. Did you say goodbye? Space. This is I'm still space. on. I'm, I'm oh. on. Uh... <laughs> this is space. This is science fiction. And yet, uh, we are back in the classic fantasy setting of going through a jungle. So that seems really weird. Yeah, right. I thought we were going to fix our spaceship, you know? It, the, the point is, though, the, the, the journey is happening. Part of the adventure. It's about the journey, not the destination. Hmm. <laughs> Bob just wants to get there as soon as possible. <laughs> no, I want to. I want to be in space and do spacey, science fictiony things. So that's later. You have plenty of time with that. Trust me. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, so. guys. Have a great night. Be safe. Yeah, Bye, guys. Ciao. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye, bye.